Alrighty. All right, what is up everybody? His royal fan is here. Welcome back to the channel and to today's live stream. Excuse me, just trying to... Oh my gosh, camera, stop pulling back. That's good enough. Hope you guys are doing well. Happy weekend. Uh, sorry I haven't streamed for the last few days. Been dealing with some either lag issues, YouTube server issues, or just other things I need to take care of. And therefore, I wasn't able to stream before Saturday. But here we are today, E50M time. As you know, update 9.2 just recently dropped which means e50m is a it's a wee bit spicy right now i mean very spicy wargaming went out and just outright buffed its armor profile not really sure why they did that but there you go it got a massive armor buff uh the precise numbers i believe is where is it update 9.2 it's probably underneath the tabs i forgot how much the numbers were because i just go by the thickness that i see when i am playing the tank but i believe it should state um yeah, okay, so it got about, you know, 12, 10, 12 millimeters on the uh, upper plate of the hall and about, what, once again, 12 millimeters on the, on the turret front, the flat part of the front frontal turret, which is significant. And what that means for the E50M, I kid you not, on flat ground, you are practically impenetrable through the upper plate to every single standard round in the game. Even premium shells struggle to pen the E50M's upper plate. And I'm talking 340, 370 heat. If you slightly angle this hull or you're slightly above a tank, they will not be able to pen your upper plate anymore. That's crazy. 370 heat. That type of penetration being blocked by the armor is insane. Consequently, also the front of the turret did receive a similar change. Anything with, I would say, sub 320 millimeters of APCR slash heat pen will be unable to pen the front of your turret if you are facing them directly. So let's say you're running against a leopard one that's running rammer and you face hug him he cannot pen you anywhere that wasn't necessarily the case back in the day even like premium shells with higher pen can get more ricochets than it used to so armor profile on the 50m is pretty spicy it, it it's always had good armor it's just a little bit better than it was before which is pretty nice now obviously we know in update 9.1 i believe the e50m did however receive a slight nerf to its gun handling and its alpha dropped from 350 to 340. now it kind of makes sense given the increased armor so i think it's in a pretty decent state right now and mostly when it comes to e50m it's all about just finding a nice kind of hold on position uh where you can kind of angle, angle out your hull Preferably without showing your lower plate, which is almost always an auto pen, stuff like that. It has great mobility, so that's nice. You will easily be able to get to and fro on the maps. And the gun still works quite well. Now, let's just jump right into some gameplay. I don't want to keep you all waiting for too long. Fatness, RGN is back. Yes, it is back and I have usurped the clan lead of Rain. Let's jump right into some games. Now, E50M, really, really nice tank. Always has been a classic People love it because you can ram the living daylights out of people, which is a lot of fun when you just bop. I mean, I ran against this one to one earlier, just dive bombed them over the dunes on Oasis, rammed them for like 650 and face hugged them and the one to one couldn't pay me anywhere. And I full health them and he didn't do a single shot of damage to me. That's when the E50M is really scary, but you should be cautious. It has a large profile. It has a big lower plate. If you slightly turn too much, you're getting penned through the side. So, just because you have a very strong armor profile in certain situations doesn't mean you should just YOLO around like a maniac. You still want to be a little bit precautious on where you position yourself. And so starting up on this first game, we're going to spot this crossing over here on Vineyards. And I'm going to see if we can spot anyone going in towards the enemy's kind of ruin side, maybe some tank destroyers or something. And that's because on Vineyards, it's really important to have map control. Now, you can see pretty much my whole team wants to go town. Personally, I think going town is a pretty bad idea, or at least sending your whole team to town. What usually happens is you get stuck there and crossfired out and die. That's not always, the you know, an ideal situation. So for now, I'm going to keep kind of spotting here. Now, the E50M doesn't have the most ideal view range in the uh, out of the tier 10 meds. We can see enemy 57 heavy sitting back, and we do find the enemy 183. It's aim a shell into him. There we go. 288 damage dealt. Now, he shouldn't be able to spot me, or he does, because 183 go burn. Unfortunately, second shot unable to hit him. So you can see, yeah, increased DPM is nice. And the TI2 is actually the tank that did spot me there, shooting high explosive at me. And we can see that the enemy team is very much split up. Now, one thing I am a little bit concerned about is there's still an unspotted FV4005, which means if Mr. 4005 decides, hey, yo, that E50 I'm looking kind of like a snack, he could totally just dunk on me, right? With 1800 or so clip if he gets some high rolls. So what I'm going to do instead 
Now we do find the 4005, is place myself in a position to start crossing around the 183 and 57. I want to clear these dudes out first, if, ideally, if I can. Here's the 183, let's put a quick shell into him. I do get spotted up, but there we go. He is kind of stuck in Narnia, and I believe the 57 is going to try and shoot at me. Let's put a quick shell into this dude and pull back ever so slightly. This 183 is very much caught in the open. Let's put another shell into him. DPM going burr. We are absolutely farming out this, this 183 here. Let's hit another shell into him, 425 max roll. Very nice indeed. Okay, so here's how the game is progressing so far. We know the enemy team have a 183 over here. They have a 57 back there. A TIA2 and 4005 are pushing down low. My allies are actually in a pretty precarious position right now. So I'm going to go back for the T92 and 4005. We can ignore the 57 while he is disengaged from our allies and try and see if I can get some crossfire on the enemy 4005, their 57, you know, all those tanks. Let's we'll start turning in towards the TI2 here. He does shoot a high explosive shell into me. I don't want to over angle out here because their 183 is around the corner. Unable to reload there, unfortunately. We might be able to kill the 183. Boom, that's the kill shot I was looking for. TI2, maybe. We'll get a little bit aggressive here. We can just angle around the building, angle around the building. We're going to angle our hull up just a little bit. He's probably going to shoot high explosive at me. Let's try and ricochet the shot, if at all possible. Now, there is a 4005 behind me. He has one more shell left, I believe. Let's pull back before we die here. And we do get taken out. That's what I was worried about. I thought the 4005 is distracted, but he did make a good play in killing me there. He might, however... Ah, he didn't quite pull it off. Unfortunately, there... What I probably should have done was just YOLO the E50, yeah. I mean, the uh, T92 there. The one kind of issue was the 4005 at the time, I don't believe he was spotted. So I wasn't 100% sure on his location. That's why I didn't just want to YOLO into the open, you know, get killed. But in the end, the 4005 did manage to sneak up behind me. So GG to him. Now, everyone is roughly one or two shot in this game. My allies, potentially, if they play this perfectly, could win this battle. Now, the TI2 can one-shot our 4005, which is what we don't want to happen. Now, the enemy 4005 does get spotted up, but so does our 4005. And that just means our 704. Fluffing is... Oh, that was a really important kill shot. He's dead now. So it was a good game. It was a good battle. It was a good try. The TI2 and the 57 have too many hit points for this dude. Oh, wait. Kill him? Let's go. All right. Amorak, we believe in the Amoraks. Let's go, chief. Let's go. <laughs> that was a good try. Sadly, not getting the dub for the first game. But, oh, well. It is what it is. Uh, the 4005 did, uh, did, did catch me off guard there. I, I thought uh, if I just pushed the TI2, I would have been fine. We did block... I don't know. It doesn't tell me how much damage I blocked. I think I didn't block any because the TI2 was spamming Gate G. We had 2,500. It was okay, but this is what I'm talking about. It's when you get your team stuck in town, you get surrounded, and you lose. Like, the enemy 4005 and TI2 were able to push straight through and counter cap the 57 as well and just crossfire my allies in town and kill them instantly because we didn't have anyone holding in counter cap properly. We didn't have enough tanks holding the ruins where I was. Yes, I was able to take out their their 183, which was good, and kind of deal with the TI2 a bit, but in the end, that was all I could do before I died there. Sadly. <laughs> Cursed, how's it going? Why you want it nerfed, huh? Who wants it nerfed? Get what nerfed? It? Wait, what are you talking about? Team confusion. Ew, fat ass be calling dudes a snack. <laughs> hey, hey, yo. I was referring to myself, okay? Now I just sound conceited. This is bad. All right, we're going to go up the mid here. Enemy team have a T100LT, 62A, Bashathion. All tanks, which I can deal with relatively easy in the, four, in the, in the E50M. We're going to try and spot up mid ourselves. And let's see. Here is the wild T100LT. Okay, I don't want to get hashed by a 183. There's the enemy's 183. Let's put a quick shell to him. Very nice indeed. So we know where the 183 is. We're not sure yet where Le Grilla 15 is. Now, this 183 seems to be a bit distracted. Let's put another shell into him. Very nice. You can see, you know, the alpha isn't the highest. We hit 183 twice, and we didn't quite manage to pull 700 damage there. Put another shell into that 183. Very nice. If this T100 gets aggressive, he can't pen me anywhere on the front of the turret. So let's put another shell towards him. Not really sure where that one went, but I can keep holding for the time being. Let's look at the mini map. I only have a single heavy tank here for support. Put another shell towards this dude. Um... I am a bit worried that I'm going to get YOLO'd here eventually. But luckily, this t 100 LT is trying to 1v1 me. I can't shoot! Darn it! This t 100 LT's profile. See, this tank isn't about its armor. It's about its minuscule profile. Okay, where are my shots going? How are they missing? Does this tank have, like, no shell velocity or what? All right, I'm going to aim further down. There we go. Okay! Getting brained on by the t 100 LT there. But he also realized, I think, he cannot pen me anywhere. So let's put another shell towards him. Unfortunately, that one do does ricochet. I'm just going to hold here for now. And here's, like, the nice thing about this tank now. Like, I know for a fact this t 100 lt cannot pen me. He quite literally cannot pen me anywhere. Even if he's spamming premium AP shells. This dude cannot do a thing to me. 
Enemy 183 does shoot at me there. Let's put a quick shell towards him. Ran out of gun depression, sadly. And now I have a 55A shooting me up on the side here. So 55 or 62A puts another shell towards me. We're going to back up to this corner here. We're going to angle our hull in just a little bit, side scraping it out a little, take his tracks off. There's also a mill pushing it on my left here. 200 still trying to shoot me. So let's pull back. Luckily, his profile is super small. Okay, we're just going to keep pulling back from here. We might take a shot from this mill, but we do manage to ricochet it. I believe I have him on interclip here. So boom, put another shell into him. Armor profile. We've already blocked 2,000 damage this game. Very nice indeed. Now, there's a wild bash shot, the Honor Conqueror, coming in behind us. I think what probably is the most optimal play for me right now is to deal with the bash shot, the on and Conqueror. But I need to do it in a way where I'm not going to get shot off the bum by everyone. All right, bash shot, the on does take out one of my allies here. And the T1 LT is just straight up YOLOing. So T1 LT is going to YOLO for me. I'm going to keep using this building as cover from the T100LT. Let's see if we can pull back from the grill. Grill tries to shoot me, but doesn't quite go as too well for him. Conqueror pushing up, put a track shell into him. My rear is currently safe, so I can keep pulling back to a safer position here. And yeah, I mean, we're doing a pretty good job this game, I would say. I just put a heat shell into this dude. Very nice indeed. That leaves the 183, Grill, and T100LT, who is he was just bopping the flank here. Grill probably won't be able to pen that, so very nice. And yeah, I mean, we've blocked 2,600 damage this game. This is definitely... Not too shabby. Put this tank in a nice haul down situation. T100LT bounces off me. Let's just angle up a little bit here. Um, dude is trying to just YOLO past me. He might be able to pen one finally. Dude has been kind of tunneling me all game, but without uh, without support from his allies here, I can just H him up the side. What? No, 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 no. You don't. No, you don't, Grill. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. I see you, buddy. I see you. Ricochet off my front. Ricochet off my front. Let's go. I'm dead anyways, but it was worth. No way my teammates are throwing. Uh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, I kind of thought the 183 and Grill would have actually done something to assist us here, but it appears they are not. This dude might be dead to their 183. If our dude's... I, uh, dude, what are... I'm confused. How did my teammates die? I had the Grill 200 on me on that 200 on me this whole time. Oh, man. What am I watching? This dude is dead. Holy smokes, man. These teammates. Okay. Shout out to the OP teams. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, tears are so bad. Uh, yeah, appar apparently. I, I'm trying to figure out how they died. Okay, I can see our, our yo yoloed into the middle of the map instead of clearing out top there. So, I don't know what our yo was doing in the mid. He threw his tank away pretty much, I think, for free. Um, and the rest of my allies probably died to the 1A3 and A. I guess GG to the team one at the end. The only reason we lost that, by the way, is because... I got scammed with the HE shell on the side of the T100 there. I don't know precisely um, how that HE shell didn't pen. Oh, wait. I'm already dead. Feels bad, man. I'm trying to see where it hit because that should be a pen, right? Right on his engine deck from the side there. That should be a pen. Unless I hit some, like, really weird angle. Let's see. Let's let's, let's, let's jump forward in time again. Okay. So, we push in. T100 yellowing me. That was right on his side i can see the hit marker whack it must have hit like a little bit high on the hall that's very unfortunate anyways we did 4.6k damage we blocked three and a half thousand damage so i say we did a very good job as an e50m managing to pull some very very nice damage blocked and damage dealt there a little unfortunate about that 200 lt staying alive because if my he had killed him there which it should have because I think I have like 450 HE out for 420 HE or something. Uh, then we would have won because the girl ricocheted. The girl couldn't pen the front of my tank, which was fun. But let's jump right back into another game here. Unfortunately, not getting the dubs, but we should hopefully get some some more dubs soon. We're going to spot up the crossing for starters. There's the enemy's E50M. Let's put a quick shell to his side. Unfortunately, that one ricochets. I'm going to pull back. 50B. Uh, one of the Yags spotted over here. 200 LT is probably supporting this dude from somewhere on the right side. There's the enemy's 200 LT, but I think me and this STB1 should be able to bring on the 200 LT here. So 200 LT is pushing across for our STB. I don't know what... No, but he's just pulling back into a safer position. That's not a bad play by him. I don't want to overextend here because that 200 LT is just going to turn around and start shooting at me, but his gun depression runs out. 200 LT just big chill in here. Let's put another shell to him. Angle up our haul just a little bit. STB, I need some assistance here, buddy. Get another ricochet off the 200 LT. Let's max roll him, maybe. Not quite. There we go. 200 LT... L is losing a lot of hit points here. And here's the enemy Z50M. Now, if you look at the arbor profile, unless you hit that hatch, you are not penning him very easily. Now, I'm going to hope that this dude's running calibrated instead of rammer. It means I should out-reload him slightly. Not that it matters, but he won't be able to pen me from this angle. Getting a nice little ricochet there. Let's aim a shell in right to his lower plate. 320. Very nice indeed. 
T100 will hopefully be shoved out of the dune soon, and that should leave me free to start. Oh, T100 LT pokes. Very nice. Okay, he kind of caught me off guard there, but I'll take it. Yeager is thinking of pulling back. Let's aim a shell for his drive wheel. Very nice. And so far, this game is looking quite good for me and my allies here. The STB shooting HE at the Yag. What a, what a gamer warlord. All right, T100 LT is going to go down. Very nice. E50M is at the entrance of towns. The Yag is just big chilling over here. Let's aim a shell in towards the side of his tank. 328. Good stuff. Awesome. We've already farmed 3,000 damage so far, which isn't half bad, I would say. It's one of the shell towards this dude. Not quite able to pet him. I'm going to see if I can kill this E50M. He is kind of stuck in the open here. Let's aim a shell into his rear. Very nice. And not a bad game at all. Not a half bad game at all. Now, the 205B can probably hash spend the lower plate of my tank here. I will want to watch out for that, but... If I just kind of angle up my hall, we get a ricochet, an APCR shell ricochet, as a matter of fact, from the 2 and 5B, and I can just start yellowing in on this dude. Now, he has great DPM, so I don't want to overextend here. Let's angle our hall up slightly. But at the same time, this game is already kind of over, so I'm just going to put another shell into his tracks here. I wonder if this dude can face me if I face hug him. Although, I, I don't uh, ped me. I don't think he's going to try. All right, let's just keep ramming him. A little more. <laughs> and it's game over. GG. Nice. There we go. Much better. E50M. 4,800-ish or so with the RAM on the 2 and 5B, about 4,750 probably. Not a bad game. We are pulling out some pretty decent damage these battles. This was much more like it, 4,786. Cool stuff. The STB pulling an insane 700 damage there. I'm not really sure where he was when we were farming the 200 and E50M. I guess he got scared. And uh, once again, you can see that armor profile just being mega, mega yoked. How about some ramming action? Yeah, we got to do some ramming action when the opportunity arises. I'm not going to throw away a potential win to ram. Those are going to be like my famous last words. Someone's going to clip later on in the stream of me just like suiciding because I wanted to ram someone. I'm just calling it now. Anyways, the enemy team only having a T54E1 means I can play med side. I'm going to spot the crossing here. Now, they do have a 263, uh, a Type 68, you know, some faster heavy TDs that I should be aware of in case they do try and head over to this side of the map. 5041 was aimed for that drive wheel, maybe not quite able to hit it. This dude has like really no chance at all of petting me. I could just sit here stationary and he just won't be able to pen me. This this poor soul, bless him. He's just, he has no clue. He can't pen me at all. All right. That's most of the enemy team over there. Oh, 5041 actually pulling in aggressively. Let's pull in just slightly here. Angle up our hall just a little bit. This dude is just struggling to find an angle to pen me. Pee. I wonder what the shell velocity is on this tank. Now, the 263 is still unspotted for the time being. This is a bit of a concern. Okay, the one is on the other side. Um... Because he could be in the back of the spawn waiting the Yolomi. I do have support from a single tank destroyer. Okay. 5041 does manage to put a shell into me. Good for him. And there's the 263. So he's just sitting in Narnia. He is just sitting in Narnia. Okay. So 263 is just chilling over here. But he is turning the other direction. Okay. Oh, there's a 54. Let's put a quick shell into his turret. All right. Uh, no one can shoot me on my right side just yet. Let's see what that 263 is doing. 263 is getting a bit distracted here. And this 54 is pulling forwards. Angle up our lower plate. Once again, this dude really doesn't stand a chance of penning me here. Very nice. He does manage to miss a second shell. Let's put a kill shot into him. Good stuff. All right, so we clear him out of the game. Now, the enemy team do have some pretty aggressive tanks here through the through the mid. Uh, this E100 is not looking. Let's put 290 into him. Very nice. This 263 might give me some shots here in just a moment if he stays exactly where he is. Put a shell towards him. Aye, aye, aye. That shot, unfortunately, missing. But we can start pushing in behind the enemy team. They're, they're pretty much in very dire straits as a team right now. E100 is kind of looking my way, so I'll push past. That way he can't shoot at me, and I can push up more aggressively. Kav Panzer caught on fire for 600 hit points here. E100 right in front of me, unfortunately hitting his tracks here. Now, 263, I don't believe, has the best APCR pen, so he might struggle to pen me here. Yep, you can see we're bouncing the 263's APCR rounds here, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. And we'll just put one shell into him. We'll angle back our turret here. He does hit my hatch, so I guess good shot by him. And there's really not a whole lot I can do about a 263 in this situation. And apparently, the 50M's gun just kind of sucks nowadays because we are, like, hitting nothing here. All right, see if we can put another shell towards the 263. He does pen one into me, unfortunately. And oh my goodness, this gun cannot shoot anymore. I'll just wait for the waffle to cover me. And the yo is just going to YOLO this dude. Get, get him, yo. Yeah, that's right, boy. Get him. Yeah. Shoot, shoot the 263. So the 263 with its... Uh, I assume he's running calibrated. No, he penned my viewport both times. That is actually very unlucky. All right, 263 pulling in here a little bit. You want to pull him back. Let's try and put a kill shot into him. RNG says, no you. And I guess we're not farming up a whole lot this game. Unfortunately, I could not pen that 263 anywhere, which meant goodbye farm. Oh, let's put a shell to this dude. Very nice. We got 2.7k out. 
Which four sweep game could be much, much worse. That 263 was so annoying. GG. <laughs> Mr. Anticipation. Thank you, Immortal, for the donation. It is appreciated. Hello, you play very well. Have you tried to go into esports? Uh, <laughs> never. I have never considered it. I have never played this game professionally in the past. This is all just a myth. Um, I really have no idea how to pull. Uh, I'm just gonna call you NY. I, I have played esports for years in the past, actually, <laughs> in Whatblitz. <laughs> He is in these words. <laughs> All right. You should really try the legendary account. It's actually really good now. Uh, yeah, but I don't like wasting golden camos. So unless I get it as a certificate for free, then I'm probably not going to buy it. Here's what we're going to do. E50M doesn't really have the gun depression to reliably hold B cap. And looks like we have an M4 and Conqueror going that way. We should be good on B. I'm going to see if there's anything I can do at C. But let's be careful. They're Kronwagen. They're Super Conqueror. They could both head on in towards this side of the map. So I don't... Don't necessarily want to full commit just yet. And that's the 62A. The 62A would by no means be going here if he was by himself. That's 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 what logic dictates. Of course, teams are rarely ever logical. Let's put a quick shell into our mans here. We do get spotted up. And here's what I think I'm going to have to do. Let's wait till we get unspotted here. Okay. Oh, no. There's Super Conqueror's over here. Okay. Okay. Super Conqueror over here back there. So the Jaeger is over here. The question that remains is where's the Kranwagen? Because that's the one I'm most concerned about right now. All right, E50's in the open. Let's put a quick max roll 425 into our mans. Very spicy indeed. And let's go take corner control away from the enemy team. Enemy Yeageru, 62A, both playing pretty aggressively up top here. Uh, let's see if we can play a shell towards the 62A if it gets any more aggressive. Hopefully, with a little bit of support from one or two allies, we'll be able to do just fine here. Let's put a quick shell into our mans here. He is starting to pull forward just ever so slightly. I think he wants to try and shoot at me. Let's put a quick shell into him. 425, max roll goes bear. Now I'm 100% sure on the location of the enemy team's Jaeger. It's one of the shell to our mans here. Okay, that's the Jaeger. Okay, cool. So now I know what to, know what I, what I can do. As we know, the Jaeger is kind of lost in Narnia. My side should be safe for now. 62A is playing a little over aggressive. Let's put a shell to him, bouncing a heat shell. We have corner control. 62A gets bopped to Narnia. Very nice indeed. Oh, that's a Jaeger. Okay, let's pull back. Bouncing the Jaeger. Let's go armor profile. Let's put a quick track shot towards him. Not quite able to hit it. But now I can start crossfiring out the Super Bonkerer if he is not careful. All right, Super Bonkerer, please pull forward once again, my love. Thank you. 425, another little max roll into our mans. Very nice. We've done 2,700 damage already. I, I guess I'll just cap C while I wait. Don't think poking a Yag is really the biggest brain idea, but you know what? I am impatient. Let's see if we can spot him up. So we do spot up the enemy's Yag. Now, of course, I have, like, no penetration because I'm running Rammered right now. Put a shell into his lower plate. Managing to bait the Yag out. We've done 3,000 damage so far. I would say not too bad. And it looks like this game is over for the enemy team. Enemy Ho Ri is rotating back towards me. Let's put a shell towards his tracks. 395. Very nice little high roll there. We might even be able to hit another shell on this Ho Ri here. I don't know if he's still there. Unfortunately, that shell does miss. Looks like the Chieftain is just full sending it. What a chad. Chieftain Mark 6 player. All right, Jaeger is trying to run away. Let's put a shell towards him. We're going to debate in real quick here so we don't take a shell from him. And you know what? This Kron be looking tasty over here. Let's put a shell towards the Kron's tracks. Very nice indeed. And we are going to full send it in on the Kron, but the Kron is getting ratted out. Oh, we managed to pick up the kill maybe. No, the Super Conqueror blocking my shell there for a second, so I wasn't able to pick up that kill. But you know what? We'll pick up a kill on the Yag. Not a bad game. We managed to play very well, comfortably on C cap. I think I'm very happy with that play. It worked out that their heavies didn't actually go towards C. If their heavies had gone C, I would have hightailed out of there. But once I saw the Conqueror, uh, the Hori, the E50, all those tanks kind of just showing a mid, I knew I could take C for free. And just like that, casual 4200 damage dealt. Very nice indeed. We do like to see that. Fetus, why is Chuck... No huh? <laughs> Fattis is why Chuck Norris does not do esports. Oh, I, I got confused. I read that sentence wrong. Fattis, Cali, why should I use Rammer? Um, I actually am running Rammer. Uh, I've been running Calibrated on the 50M until today. I switched up for Rammer just to see how I liked it for a game, and I forgot to switch it back. So, this is a live test with His Royal Fattis. Rammer versus Calibrated. What is better? All right. Knew it, Rammer. <laughs> yep, your Rammer is 6.1 second reload with Rammer 340 Alpha. You get 3300 DPM, which is decent, but definitely not exceptional, as I believe the Vickers Light also gets about 3300. We're going to spot this low side here. 
B50 does, I mean, 62A does spot me up. Unfortunately, not quite able to snapshot him there, and he, he does hit my side. Apparently, my side is so tall, I can't quite pull back from there sneakily. 60 TP is getting brained on. Now, the VK90 is still unspotted. We have a Yo going into the town. Enemy team playing a bit of a duo um, position here. Fosh, 121. We're not 100% sure about the whereabouts of some of these tanks here, but I think I'm going to start playing a little bit more aggressively in the enemy's spawn. This could be a mistake, but maybe it'll work out at the same time. Here's the enemy's I7. Let's put a quick shell into him. That's 350. I mean, 305. Oops, that's not quite 350. Very nice. Shell into the I7 here. I'm going to keep kind of spotting up around this corner. The I7 really can't pen me all that much. I think his APCR pen is pretty abysmal. And so what I'm going to do here, once I'm 57, okay, there's the VK. There's the 60 TP. Okay, I7's ISO. Since Mr. IS7 is ISO with the 57 pushing in from above, I can start pressuring him from down low. Now, I got to watch out because the enemy team are like, ooh, E50M, let's, let's counter YOLO him. Let's put a quick shell into our mans here. Very nice. Spash shot to Yon here. Ready to pick up the kill. He does ricochet a shell. Put another shell into the I7. He does low roll. Oh, he gets bombed by the 62A. Let's put a quick shot into this one. People use logic in public games. <laughs> Smiley face. Aish, thank you so much for the donation. I really do appreciate it. Biggest mistake Fatness makes is assuming people are going to play logically in public games. I, uh, I, you do have a point there. Sometimes... GG Big Rats, nice game. GG Big Rats, nice game, nice shoot. Immortal, thanks for the dodo. Uh, you do have a, you do have a point there. I sometimes overestimate the, well, I wouldn't say intelligence, but, um, what the enemy team is gonna do, you know? It, it, it's, a, it's a bit of a mistake that happens quite often with me. Anyways, this VK90 is just big chilling over here, so I'm going to ignore him for now, because I can start shooting out his teammates here in just a moment. Okay, he hits those. Watch put a quick shell towards the enemy's Leo. Boom, 350 into him. I have a yo with me, which is why I'm not super scared of the VK90 right now. It looks like this the, the VK90 still wants to shoot at me, though. Okay, VK90 is just fired. Let's put a quick shell into this Leo. Quick little kill shot. No, the Fosh. Dang it. I thought he would have stayed spotted there. That was a mistake on my part. Let's wait to see what this VK does. Oh, no. Fosh is good for the yellow wizardy. Okay, if the Fosh shoots heat, I am screwed. All right, let's see if we can aim for a track shot here. Come on, come on. Oh, we baited the Fosh. 57 coming in with the save. 57 coming in with the save. Let's pull forward. Very nice. VK90 stuck in the open for now. Let's track him again. Let's go. VK90 might just be full sending it for me right now. Oh, we bait the VK90. I am the master of, um, hmm. How do I say this? Of baiting enemy tanks. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yes. Just ignore the two tier 10 heavy tank autoloaders so you can shoot the 100 HP 50 M. That is very big break, VK90. Just just take like 2,000 in the, in the bomb for free. <laughs> I don't know what that game was, but um, the track shot came in clutch there on the Fosh. We'll admit, dude. We managed to bait the Fosh like a... Like an absolute champ there. Uh, we got 3k. We blocked 800. Nothing too spicy. GG to the yo and GG to the 57. Good support that game. Not too shabby if I say so myself. <laughs> yeah, I don't. It's funny. It is interesting to watch good players. Not only uh, in your region, CIS, like um, like set. Because <laughs> I your forehead. Good luck. Thank you, NY. Thank you. <laughs> I, 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 put a, I put a very distinctive uh, break in my sentence there. I love the big rats. <laughs> I love the big rats. <laughs> Immortal, but... thanks so much for the donation. All right, guys, let's go see Cap. Hopefully the allies come to support us. I think I'll try taking corner away from their E50M907 Progetto. It is just me and an M46 Patton, so I will have to be careful as they have very fast meds that will spot me on the crossing, and if I take a shot or two, well, that just kind of sucks for me. Put quick shell towards this dude. Unfortunately, that one does not pen. At least we did hit him. The Progetto is not quite crossing. Let's see if we can do anything about the C50M. I think low-key rammer might be better in a situation like this. Um, 907 bouncing off of me. Let's aim for a hat shot. Not quite. I guess I can just hold these dudes off for now. I am by myself. The 50 I'm not quite able to pen me. Here's giving me a little bit of side. Just put a little snapshot into him. Enemy team already have a tank capping on A. So, very interestingly enough, we can see their, their forces are a little bit split. Maybe the Progetto is giving me the top of his turret here, but not quite. I, I really would love to shoot him, but I don't think I can quite do that. TI2 in the open. There's the Progetto. Let's put a quick shell towards him. Very nice. TI2 is just big chilling in the open here. Taking one from the VK90. Let's aim for a shell on his tracks. Very nice. 
390 into him. We might be able to hit a second shell on this TIT before he pulls back all the way. Let's put another one into him. 425 max roll. Good stuff. My allies are looking a lot better now. Enemy 57 does shoot at me once. Put 347 into him. Our T100 LT is now just like full sending it. Dude doesn't have any cares in the world. Let's put a shell into the Brigetto. Unfortunately, shooting underneath them. I probably should for the sake of my team focus on this E50M here. Let's put a shell into him. And let's see. So our, our Prigetto is going to go down, but I should be able to kill the E50M in the process. Side hugging like a champ. This dude is absolutely braining on these dudes. I'm not going to overextend forward here for, you know, so I don't get crossfired out by the Prigetto and 57. And we'll watch the Badger on our rear. But now we should be in a pretty decent position here. Let's put a shell towards the 57. A little max roll. Very nice indeed. And so far, we're getting some pretty decent fun out. 57's making some big mistakes. He's about to die to the VK. And that just leaves the Badger, Prigetto, and E75. Who to bop next? I think the Badger is getting just slam dunked over here. So I'm going to go pull on in behind where this Badger is approaching from. We'll try and get above him and the E75. And hopefully, if that's the case, we can pull the big brain farm out before this game is over. Oh, here's the E75. He does ricochet off me. I can't quite pen him with heat. So, you know what? Uh, you know what? The Badger is actually going to be much more annoying to deal with. Let's kill the E75 first. Put quick shot to the E75 here. Very nice indeed. Damage against Amarak. If I get up close and personal, he shouldn't be able to pen my upper plate here. Another shell to this dude. He can't even pen me. Bless this poor soul. He has no clue what he's doing. I mean, it's crazy to be able to face hug a tier 9 heavy tank and a tier 10 med and just like, they can't do anything about you. Let's put another shell to this man's. No! Getting baited by the 75 Badger bouncing off my sides here. Let's track him in the open. Very nice. Badger is showing his rear to my entire team because... Because that's smart. <laughs> Why did the Badger just shoot the, the type or the VK? I don't know. He just evaporated. He is dead. Goodbye, farewell. Have a very nice day. Uh, 4,400 damage dealt first class. 3,000 damage blocks. Like, once again, this tank is a master of blocking damage. Maybe I'll eventually get this tank to 3k career. This was, I believe, my first tier 10 med back in the early days. So it's one of my few sub 3k tanks in tier 10. <laughs> Rumor has it. Fanus dries a Honda Civic. Yeah, I dry them out. I dry them out in the sun, and I own a uh, a, a dry uh, a, a Honda drying business, brother. <laughs> Hello, what do you think about the new gun sounds? Uh, new gun sounds. I like them. You know, that's personal opinion. I've been playing this game for eight years. I've listened to the same old gun sounds for eight years. I like the change, but. I will admit, medium tank, 105, 100 millimeter guns don't sound all that great. It's mostly like the 152s, the 130s that sound really fire. So I do like those gun sounds a lot. Your big chunky guns that are just going to slam dunk on people. Those are the ones I like. Anyways, this STB cannot pen me to save his life. I guarantee it. Unless he hits my lower plate, which is probably not going to happen. If this dude is running... Um, if this dude is running calibrated, he might barely be able to pen me here. Looks like my teammates are not doing too much about this Vickers, who definitely needs to go down. Let's put a shell towards this STB here. I think he's still going to struggle to pen me, unless he hits my hatch here. You can see he's, he's looking for an angle. Put another hell shot into his hatch. MX-30 does pen me through my weak spot. That's to be expected, I suppose. Um... And I can just keep holding back for now. This STB gets it confident again. Let's put another shot into his hatch. Pull back a little bit. STB is just getting absolutely gamed on. And now that we know the enemy's Vickers is not pressuring the corner super aggro on me, I can start being a little more aggressive over here. We'll pull back from the AMX-30. He can't quite pen me. I mean, you can see, dude, players just panic when they see this tank's armor profile. They're just like, where do I pen it? Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. Oh, we have a wild YOLO wagon coming in. Full send it, brother, I believe. And he is so gonna die for that. Let's go, let's go clear up top. Or you know what? I don't know what the 4005 is. That's my concern. Let's see. 4005, I don't think shot anyone. That was just the MX 30B high rolling. Supposed to shell to the 30B. Unlucky for him. He gets tracked by me here. This dude is just evaporating before our very eyes. 419 HE into his rear. He is, he's, he's donezo. He's, he's straight up donezo. Enemy 4005 is in the back of town over here. Let's aim a shell for the roof of his tank. Very nice. 369 damage dealt to him. <laughs> and let's see. Super Conqueror IS-7. All right, guys. Because I said I would YOLO ram someone eventually, I'm going to wait for the perfect opportunity to YOLO ram one of these piggies. Let's see what the IS-7 does first. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm giving up opportunity to farm damage here, so I'm just going to full send it. Wish me luck, boys. All right. We are accelerating at top speed. We are sending it. And um, they're not even looking at me. So I'll put a shell to the Conqueror here. IS-7 is probably going to struggle to pen me if I go for a face hug against him. Let's turn our auto aim off for now so we can aim it at the Conqueror here. Oh my gosh, I can't aim without auto aim. I suck. I suck. <laughs> I'm not used to aiming without auto aim. This is whack. Okay, the sensitivity just gets so much higher. All right. 
There we go. Well, I'll just keep focusing on the Conqueror here. Another shell to him. This I-7 can't even pen me anyways. Bless this dude. He's like, he has no no clue what he's doing. He's just like, how do I pen this rat E50M? I'm like, brother, you can't. And you're dead. Very nice. All right, I take that. We've done 4,000 damage. Piece of cake. We have only been penned like once by the MX-30B, which was quite literally nothing. Uh, the enemy 4005 is YOLOing to his demise here. Let's pick up a kill on him. I suck. I can't shoot. 34. Surely he loves 501 because of his old username. <laughs> 501 first killed Young Leaks, brother. Never forget the most legendary His Royal Fatness prerequisite username. <laughs> 4200 damage dealt, not shabby, 1100 blocked. I mean, dude, the IS-7 couldn't even pen me. This armor is crazy on the upper plate now. 4,005 average damage, not bad. I don't personally view the 50M as an insane farming tank, but you know, if you're average above 3,800, I'm happy with that. <laughs> oh man, but to be honest, I, I can't hate on 501. I'm, Fishy was from 501 AU, so, um, you know, respect. That was just uh, that was just troll fatness back in the days before he was uh, big brain. You see, <laughs> I like Maxwell and I cannot lie. I do like Maxwell's too. All right, let's go spot at the med side. They have a Type 71, 260, ISA, I7. All are very mobile heavies. Let's not overextend and get ourselves killed for no reason. I'm gonna preem this crossing here. We do spot up the Sheridan. It is our resident stream sniper, as per usual. Uh, so far, okay, okay. So far, he's the only one spotted, but let's be careful. Let's be careful. We don't know what their team's doing. Let's put a shell to the Sheridan. Oh! Ooh! Sheridan losing 90%. Well, 90% <laughs> nice mass fan is 50% of his hit points in a heartbeat there. Very unlucky for him. I think what's happening is it looks like the enemy team are going town, but they're kind of getting stuck in the middle of town. So I'm going to pull through encounter cap here. I'm just going to be like the most massive brain of massive brain E50M drivers here. We're going to pull around this corner and start farming out Mr. I7, Mr. I8. Very good. Quick shell into this dude here. Mr. I7 has just fired Mr. I8. I don't know if he's loaded. He probably is. Let's put a shell into him. Let's start side scraping out. We'll keep an eye on our left side. That way we don't get crossfired out. I8 fires. Max rolls into him. Very good stuff. We're just being aggressive on these heavies because I see this is the best area for me to farm. Another shell into our mans. I know the Sheridan is pulling back through here, but he's not quite paying attention. I don't know where the I-7 is. There's the E3. Let's put a shell into the E3. E3 has just fired his gun. We don't have to worry too much about him right now. Uh, I, I really can't pet him anywhere. Let's hit his drive wheels. Very nice. The yo wants to poke around the corner, so I'll let him. I'm going to focus the enemy object 260 who's stuck in Narnia. 425 max roll. Very good and stuff. Indeed, he is about to go down. Very nice. Very saucy. I think we can just yellow across. Might take one from the E3. We managed to avoid it. But you know what, boys? You know what, boys? We got to do it. Oh! Oh, goodbye! Oh, my lord. Sheridan getting bopped. <laughs> uh, poor dude. Oh, I can't shoot. I was, I was, I was too excited. I was way too excited there, and now I can't shoot. Apparently. All right, let's put another shot to the Type 71. I can see the E3 and IS7 are both coming in for me from behind. I'm gonna see if I can just. Uh, I probably shouldn't face hug this dude actually. Oh, there goes all my hit points. Oh, I get taken out. Oh, my teams are throwing. My team is throwing. No, what's our IS? Dude, our IS7's full HP. Our Yo's full HP. All these dudes moved. Oh man. You know it was worth. I, I okay. I didn't realize the E3 would be allowed to sit there and shoot at me when we had two full HP heavies sitting in the entrance of town shooting no one because there was no one for them to fight. But uh, my team theoretically should win this in hit points alone. My main concern is... I retract everything I just stated. They are 100% losing this game. There is no doubt about it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Aryo is a pretty decent player. <laughs> Smash to oblivion. <laughs> uh, good to see you, by the way, Captain Stingham. <laughs> it was worth. I should have ran away instead of trying to sit there and shoot the type. That was my mistake. I Once again, I didn't think the E3 would be able to pull up with like all the dudes here. They should be able to win this. Like In terms of hit points, the E3 is a one-shot. The type's a one-shot. I7 is a two-shot. We have two full HP heavies that have been, well, doing nothing all game. But they should have the game in the bag, I believe. Go get him, boss. I believe in you. Yeah, boss. All right, aim, 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 aim. You don't have to. Okay, I think they're still gonna win this. I'm still not super confident, but I think there's a possibility they can. Um. Ah. This yo is giving me a heart attack. Yo! Oh my gosh, okay, we won. My team wanted to lose.
Why would the yo every single time he shot move his tank before shooting? Like a brother, do you not know how to aim? Here's a little tip. <laughs> when your tank is moving, your dispersion increases. If you're going to shoot an IS-7 that's already fired, sit stationary and aim those shots. <laughs> we did win, though. We did win. Uh, I unfortunately did a little bit of a suicide run there. It was worth it, though, because, you know, E50M goes burr, and crushing that Sheridan was a 10 out of 10 experience. I'm very happy with that. I could have had 6,000 damage that game easily if I had just gotten out of that situation, though, so that's kind of a of a rat fest on my part for not noticing that the E3... Well, I kind of saw him pulling up. I just didn't think he was going to commit. We have a wild 60 CP here. We're getting some early farm out. Very nice indeed. I don't know where their 183 is, so let's be careful not to overextend in case he's just chilling like by the entrance of town. You never know. Okay, he's not there. So enemy team have a very heavy lineup. Now, most of my allies are headed up the hill here. I'm going to keep spotting the outside uh, in case anyone does a very unlucky crossing so far no one spotted up now e50m can play this corner this is a bit of a fan favorite position of mine uh that i like to go to right up in the here where you can just get that gun depression the only issue is the e50m has such a tall haul that you're going to get shot like most of the time every time you, you move to this spot here oh that's not good let's pull back from the 183 all right so we do spot up the 183 60 tps are also spotted up in the open here maybe E50M is pulling down. Let's pull forward. 60 TP give me a side shot. 377. Very nice. MX30 is a bit overextendo here. So I'm going to go back and clear him out. Although the 60 TP should have him in a moment's time here. Let's angle up our upper plate here. Obviously, I can't shoot. 60 TP should have him. I believe I out reload this dude by a long shot. So we should be able to just kill him here. Very nice indeed. 183 is still just kind of big chilling in the back. So I really shouldn't overextend here. But at the same time, if I can clear out this E50M, that's going to be very beneficial to my teammates. So let's put a quick shot onto him. I still have the I still have the 60 TP flanking them. So I'm not super scared of what's happening so far. All right, yeah, this E50M is kind of screwed. Let's put a quick shot onto the E50M's tracks. Keep them in place. We're going to pull forward a tier here. I'm going to aim for his weak spot. Boom, another track shot. Maybe let's pull back from the 60 TP. E50M seems to be tracked in the open for the time being. Hat shot maybe. Not quite. With our 60 TP up, popping up on that flank, there's really not a whole lot the enemy team can do here. Let's put a shot into this dude to pull back once again. Very nice. We're just going to keep chilling here, I guess, for now. Let's see. This dude going to move at all. All right. If we load up a heat shell, maybe we can pen him right there. Nice. Baiting a shell out of this dude. E50M going the outside. The only reason I'm not going to push the E50M is I do know that he has covered fire from the 183. So there's not really a whole lot I can do about him. Uh, M60 getting a little bit aggro here. Can't quite shoot him, though. Let's put a quick shell into him. Very nice. Let's pull back. Very good. 183 has just fired his gun, however, so that's good for me. Oh my gosh, the 60 TP pushed all the way up to shoot me there. A bit unfortunate, but um, enemy T30 being quite aggro. Oh, okay. That wasn't what I was hoping to do, but very good all the same. Looks like the 183 and E50M here are about to just get bopped. Uh, our E50M losing a lot of hit points here. Sorry, buddy. I don't want to take one from their 183. Let's, let's put a quick shell into this man's. We're going to pull down so the badger can kill him. Nice, and then we can pull back up on the 50M 60 TP combo here. E50M is kind of in the open. Let's aim for his hatch here. Not quite able to hit it. It's, it's whatever. It's not the end of the world. Uh, the M60 is full sending it for me, I believe. Let's put a quick track shell into him, maybe. Not quite able to hit it. Our Badger just might go down here, but no. Badger big braining, staying alive. What a Chad Badger. And very nice. We can start shooting the 60 TP right up the bum here. 350. That puts us at 3,900 damage dealt this game. We should hopefully reach 4K with one more pen here. Very good. Not a bad battle. Just kind of played the outside of the hill. Worked the enemy team down. Armor profile is insane. The 60 TP had no clue how to pen me. Like, dude, this armor is actually crazy on this tank after we're getting buffed it. I swear. Ario is <laughs> a pretty good player. Yeah, they wasn't too bad. I don't know how you, like, tracked the IS-7, like, three times in a row there. All right. 2988. Who knows? Maybe by the end of the stream, I'll actually be able to get my E50M up to 3K career. That would be quite the achievement for my first tier 10 med. Legend has it that Fatness is still saying aim. <laughs> Do you miss so close? Do you guys worse never do? <laughs> Why sub only chat? Fatness getting sneaky? Why sub only chat? Fatness getting sneaky? Why sub only chat? I think that's pretty obvious. Is to prevent the bots from spamming the chat. Do you remember how there used to always be the hot girls bots and all those things like that? The spamming the chat all the time? One of the reasons, that one of the ways to prevent that from happening is to have sub only chat on. So you have to be subscribed to chat. I only have it set to like a couple of minutes. You don't have to be sub for that long. Uh, but that's one of the ways to prevent those bots from spamming your chat all the time is to have that on. So if you're wondering, that's why I turned it on. All right, Amex 50B from the enemy team is pulling up. 
absolutely giga brain, giga chad, big brain player. Now I do have some heavies with me. We might take a shell from Mr. 50B here. Mr. 50B does fluff his first shot. Let's pull all the way to the corner here. Oh boy, that's not quite what I wanted to do. Now if I angle up properly here, okay, let's not show too much top of my tank. This dude should struggle to pen me unless he hits the hat shots perfectly, but I mean, this dude's just big chilling here. It's one other shell into him. There's really nowhere for him to run. I'm not really sure what this 50B thinks he's doing, but um, sure, sure thing, boss. Give me all that farm. Give me, give me, give me, give me. 50B, mega brain player. Um, oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. All right, so 50B just lost all of his hit points in a few seconds. Let's aim for a track shot here. Unfortunately, going a little above his tracks. I believe he is tall enough to shoot my engine deck from here, so I should be careful if I'm gonna sit in front of him. But, I mean, if this dude's just gonna give me that free farm, then I'm gonna take it, buddy. I'm gonna take that free farm. Yo is being a little more aggressive. Let's push onto his lower plate. 50B gets, well, removed from the game. And that just leaves Mr. Grandmaster Yo over here. Tortoise as well. Enemy team seem to be in a bit of a, a bit of a sticky pickle over here. Let's see. The Yo, is he aiming for me? Is he aiming for me? There's the Tortoise. Let's aim for his tracks. 340 into him. Very nice. Now, I believe the Yo does have 370 heat. So I should be cautious of just YOLOing it and taking 900 damage from him. But if I can get one shell into him for free, I'll take that. If he does try and push into me here, ooh, 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 ooh. well, I, I might have I done messed up, boys. Might have done messed up. Let's get up close and personal. Angle that hole just a little bit. Angle it, angle it. He's struggling to pen me. Very nice. Getting the ricochet. Good stuff. I didn't realize I'd crossfire on B. That was my bad. Taking that shot there. I really shouldn't have. I believe that was the yo that shot at me. The other yo. The tier 9 yo. We're going to pull back for a second here. Progetto's not in a position to shoot me, but these M60 will spot me. I want to pull back towards C, but I need to do this safely. Now I can get a bit of a crossfire over here. All right, here's the M60. Progetto's getting just yeeted out of the game, uh, hopefully. My whole team's in Narnia, kind of just chilling in enemy spawn. So I think what I will do for now, we'll get some crossfire going in on this M60 here. Let's aim a shell to the side of his turret. 335, very good. That's what we'd like to see. Let's angle up here. A wild TBP gets spotted from Narnia. Let's put an HE kill shot into him. Okay, TBP goes down. Very good indeed. We managed to get the cap. 4k damage dealt already. That's what we like to see, ladies and gentlemen. M60 still in the mid. Put another shell into him. 375. Very nice. Getting some nice crossfire here. Well, that's where the yo is. Interesting. Let's put another shell into him. 370. I thought this thing had 340 alpha, not 370. What is this wargaming? Giving me all the blessed RNG here. 425, 5k damage dealt. The yo is just wiggling his gun up and down. He's like, bro, you, you can't pen me. I'm like, no, I pen those, brother. I definitely pen those, brother, uh, as I bounce. All right, this dude is dead. Not quite. Okay, well, that was fun. That's game over. Not a bad game at all. Let me get a sip of tea. So, um, yeah, that 50B, by the way. Not really sure what he was doing there. M60's dead to the, these dudes. Rip the farm. Probably should have just yellowed, but we still got 5k out super, super easily. Good job, guys. We just have 130 like mark. Thank you very much. Do smash the like button. Sincerely appreciate it. Is Fantasy playing the 50B on the enemy team as well? Mm -hmm. Possibly. First class, 1600 damage, I believe. Was that spotting or blocked? Damage blocked. 5,180 damage dealt. Piece of cake. 4,200 damage, 12 games in, 83% winner. This is what I'd like to see. I step on YouTube and find best YouTube, his royal online button. Con Banoa. <laughs> if that bridge showed him who's boss. <laughs> Bruh. Fast, what are your thoughts on the new gun sounds? I, I kind of gave them earlier. Personally, I like them. I feel like they can be a little bit more bassy. If, if Wargaming can make it a little bit more bassy and a little bit louder, then it's perfect. Uh, I'm not a fan of medium tank gun sounds, but the heavies, the 130, 155s, 180, 170 millimeters are all pretty fire in my opinion. So there you go. All right, so the enemy team have a leopard or TVP. Ah, yikes, a rat's TVP. I don't like rat TVPs. So what I'm gonna do is spot up, uh, spot up the middle here. And hopefully we'll spot the Leo and TVP crossing. Okay, there's the TVP at least. TVP crossing up top. Okay, not quite. Let's pull back before that 268 and 183 get anything, any kind of big brain ideas over here. And it looks like the enemy team might be sending quite a few forces over towards this side of the map. So I, I'm actually going to pull back just a little. I'm a bit concerned because no one's spotting anything. Leo does get spotted up. Interesting. And uh, let's try not run into any rocks here. Okay. So there's their 50B. There's their Crom. But they have a Super Conqueror over here. My, my fears have been... We're, we're not in vain. They do have a super conk over there. I can't really work that corner. Not against the TBP leopard. Or 100 can keep them at bay. What I'm going to do instead is do my best to as quickly as possible. Wipe out the enemy's Kranwagen and Amex 50B. If we do that, we can clear out these dudes quickly. And hopefully E100 can stay alive just for a little while. Then we should be good to have a chance to win this battle. All right. Enemy 268 does get spotted up in the, in the open here. 
the 183 is still not spotted, but I believe he would be at the typical TD hill, right? Right, ladies and gentlemen? That's that's the most logical position for him to be at. Okay, here's what we're going to do. The 183 would have shot at me if he was over there, right? We're going to go kill this Kron, and then we'll deal with the, with the Super Conqueror next. So let's go pull on in behind it, Mr. Kronwagen here. It's a level high explosive shell for the rear of his turret. Bop, 409. Almost guaranteeing the one shot on him, but I can just give him a little love tap here. Little love tap, little shot. He's dead. Good stuff. And the 26850B are both really low as well. And so it's not the worst case scenario right now for me and my allies. But HG into this dude, 490. That does pretty much guarantee the one shot. It's Ingler upper plate up just a little bit here. Not really sure what this man's is thinking, but not not very much. 268 kind of get in the way a little bit. All right. So they still have an unspotted 183. That's a pretty significant problem that we will have to deal with here soon. Spun shot towards this dude. Oh, snapshots for days. There's the 183 as predicted. Okay, he is in that right corner. So, let's go back for the TVP, who is just bombing our Yag and Leopard 1. We can ignore the 183 for the time being, hopefully. And we can save our Yeager for a little bit. Alright, we have double caps, which is good. Super Conqueror, TVP, they both got a little aggro over here. Oh yes, oh yes, this is perfect. This is way too perfect. No, 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 why is he yellowing up like that? VK, you gotta spot him up, buddy. Alright, give me that high explosive shell in your booty. 450, very nice indeed. If this Conqueror gets a little aggro on me, it's not going to be too good for him. I spent another high explosive into this dude. 10 shot for the kill. Very nice. I got to go kill the Super Conqueror next now. So hopefully the 183 doesn't smack me in the face. Very nice indeed. Put a quick shot to them. We'll ram kill this dude. Um, okay. I cannot ram kill Super Conqueror. Confirmed. Put a kill shot into this man's here. Very nice. All right. The enemy team really don't have all that much left. The 183 is losing his HP ASAP here. Let's see if we can sneak a shell into his tank here while we can. Oh, yes. Got the clutch kill shot in. Enemy team going for the double cap. I got to go reset the leopard if possible. Or just hop on the cap myself, which is probably the best plan for me. Oh, 183 hit him. I believe, buddy. I believe, boss. Boss, I believe in you, son. All right. Oh, Leo getting smacked by the VK. Not the highest farm game, but I'll take it all the same. Yeah, that rhymed way too well. I am confirmed cringe. You're dead. Nice, killing this little Papagamus Pigamus Prime, and that just leaves the 268. Hat shot. Nice, gun working a charm that game. That's what we like to see. Free Dragon Krieg. Wait, what happened to Dragon Krieg? What are you talking about? What? what, what free Dragon Krieg? I don't understand what happened to Dragon. <laughs> then I realized I didn't know what anything sounded like. Oh, it feels bad, man. 3200. That's a first class, apparently. I think it's because I was so aggressive on the heavy side. I, I don't know. I'm not really too sure of myself, but I'll take the dub there. So disappointed you had to shake your head twice. <laughs> Swato got lacking in, in What? I bad as okay, late. Sorry or what your opinion on E50M. Is it better or worse? Also what your opinion on the new gun sounds. Uh E50M opinion, I think it's better than it used to be, personally. Uh, I think the new gun sounds are both good and bad depending on which tank you were talking about. And uh there you go. My big brain opinion. I hope you enjoyed my TED talk. Thank you very much. All right, so we got a wild one, two, one over here. I'm definitely spotted up. So let's back up just in case they have a grill, one, eight, three, something, something just kind of chilling there waiting for me. Um, you know, I don't really like this all too much. This is going to suck. 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 Maybe, maybe it's going to suck. Maybe it won't suck. Maybe it will suck. Oh, okay. It doesn't quite suck. We will maybe take a shot from the one, two, one here. Let's reverse angle. We are pro. Let's go. Oh, he hits my hatch perfectly. How lucky do you have to be to hit that? Oh my goodness. All right, can't quite pen him, but it's fine. I can just hold spawn for now. I figured they might have heavies yellowing this way because no one's been spotted up on the heavy side. So I'm just going to take it kind of casually for now. Let's see, I can't spot up the leopard just yet. Air 5120 is kind of pu pushing in very aggro here. Am I still spotted? Well, that's bad. That means I can't really back up from here. Oh no, no, you don't AMX. Oh 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 no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, he low rolled. He low rolled. Okay, 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 okay. Bait that drive wheel. Bait that drive wheel. Rat. So rat. Why would he YOLO there like that? Okay, so their whole team did YOLO down low. This is why I never commit to med site anymore on this map, dude. I swear, it's such a scab. You always get, like, YOLO'd by every Pepegamus Platymus Prime possible. Okay, I gotta run away. I am spooted. I think. No, big brain. Not spooted. Let's go. Excuse me, excuse me. Make way for the king. Thank you. There's royal fatness coming through. All right, this is much better. We should be safe now. Oh, no, the waffle might have spotted me. Did he spot me? Oh, he sure did. Him and that 54 both spotted me. They're both like, must YOLO fatness. Let's track this dude. 
Okay. So we got a crossfire on these dudes for the time being. Waffle might pull into my gun here. 315 him. Oh! 54 gets lit up. Farewell, 54. Have a bad day. All right. That dude gets taken out as well. Nice. Okay. We, we chillin' now. We, we, we big chillin'. There's nothing to worry about. This game's a dub. In terms of farm, not really all ideal, but at least it's a dub, right? I don't know where that 121. Okay, there's the 121. Yo, 200 full sending it. What a Chad. Chadimus Maximus 200 uh, LT just full sending with the YOLOs over here. I'll be lucky to get like 2k damage this game. Oh, gun. I'm getting scammed. I'm getting scammed. Okay. Put another shell to this dude. 350. Very good stuff. Um, we could probably kill the leopard while we're at it here. So let's just put a quick kill shot into this dude. Good stuff. Nice. Okay, well, we got the win. I'm so happy I pulled out when I did. If I hadn't, then we would have had major issues, but we're chilling right now. Um, one to one, just kind of big chilling here. Really? 200 LT? You're not, you're not even going to like try and go the other way? Ay, ay, ay. This 200 LT could have just YOLO'd him there. <laughs> like you could put two shots in for every shot he puts in. I didn't realize he was going to be side scraping like that. I guess good side scrape by him. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's a, it's a stock type 61. That was a bit lazy of me. I should have side scraped out, maybe, I guess. I thought he was just kind of holding the corner. I didn't think he'd be side scraping so well. Oh, get scammed. Oh, he got scammed. Bouncing off of Type 61. Yikers. <laughs> That's getting clipped. <laughs> eh? Funny way the old ones were garbage, but we used to like them. We used them too. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Not super big, big brain damage farm, but we got the dub. Very nice. Very nice. The thing is, Warrior Ring only nerfed the alpha damage on the regular shell AP and the heat and HE rounds still have the same alpha as the old 50 amp. Yeah, that's the thing. It does it, it, it does get better heat and uh, and HE DPM, theoretically, because it has a shorter reload now. <laughs> um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up towards the caves. The enemy team do have a Minotauro, and I can tell you from personal experience facing those things, that's going to be a pain in the booty if I have to face them frontally. But uh, also a Kron and also an IS-7. Very strong heavy tank team from the enemy side. I think what I'm going to do is actually go take caves, entrance of caves at least. I think that's going to be most advantageous to me and my teammates here. We might take a shot from the Fosh. We do manage to pen him in return though, which is good. Enemy 183, enemy Minotauro. They're all just kind of big braining over here. Let's put a quick shell towards these dudes. Now, luckily, I do have a decent amount of pen here. So I can side scrape back a little bit. I mean, a decent amount of armor. We bounce 410 there. Um, I don't know what has 410 alpha, but definitely not the 183. All right, Kronvagen, give me an open shot. Oh, I'm getting scammed. Okay, I wish my allies would do something about these meds at the entrance of the of the caves, because there's no way these dudes should be shooting me just for free. Oh my gosh. This Fosh has nothing better to do with his life. Well, this is why entrance of caves can kind of suck sometimes. Okay, let's see. Kron, give me a shot. 338 into him. Very good indeed. I can just keep holding here for now. As long as those dudes don't push up the mid, I should be chilling. And this WZ's in the opens. Put a hatch shell into him. Very nice. All right, we are chilling. We are chilling for now. WZ seems to be a bit preoccupied for the time being. He really can't pen me here. So put another hat shot into him. Very nice. I'll just keep holding this side scrape angle here. Progetto is getting a little antsy too. 121 gave me another. 120 gave me another shot. There we go. When you have time to fully aim in, this gun does work quite well, I will admit. It's just the problem is sometimes you don't have time to fully aim in. Okay. I'm a bit concerned. I see the Minotauro. I see the Fosha rotating down low. We don't know 100% where that 1A3 is located, which is my primary concern. Okay, the 183 dropped down low. Kron's giving me a nice upper plate shot here. 340 into him. Now might be a good time to retreat into the back of the caves, but it's a bit risky all the same with that Minotauro there. Ay, ay, ay. I don't want to poke here and lose all, any more hit points. So we're just going to chill for now. Those dudes should kill the Fosh on the 1A3, no problem. I, I think they got the situation under control. Okay, Minotauro shoots one. He's pulling forward. He's waiting for me. <laughs> he fires again. Let's see. Oh, nice armor profile. Oh, very nice. Very nice armor profile. Very, 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 very nice indeed. I I, I could even bend the Pepega Piggy. All right, let's put a shell into that dude. Um, Badger, unfortunately, getting taken down there. Yo, my allies need to help up mid here, but one of our TDs is kind of stuck doing nothing right now, and that's kind of putting my, my allies at a bit of a predicament. Kron's being quite aggressive here. Progetto gets taken out. Minotauro's pushing up a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. This might be my chance to pull back away from these dudes. Let's just pull back into safety. Please, I-7, do not pull into me. Okay, we are currently safe from the I-7 here. 
Okay, can I keep backing up in the safety? Let's go. We are safe for now. I probably should take the corner of caves, to be honest. Let's see if this Conway does anything about the IS-7 here. IS-7 just fired. Put a track shell into him. Very nice. Me and the type are being quite aggressive on this dude. No, this dude just dies for no reason. All right, so HE is tracks. Make him a one-shot for me. It's all about making those one-shots appear. All right, that dude gets taken out. I7 get a little aggro here. Oh, I7 fires. No, what? He is looking at me? Rat. I thought the Minotaur was in mid. He came all the way to caves to deal with me. Uh, he wins this. These are two one shots. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize the Minotaur was pushing him from the right. I thought I wasn't looking like paying attention, but I thought he was shooting our 405. But no, he's got a, he got a Yola for beats dead. This dude's dead. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, looks like my team got brained on. Our, I don't know what our. Um, how our dudes did so bad in the mid there. And also, our Type 71 should never have yellowed that. He could have just held entrance of case and we would have been fine, but oh well. <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, I tried my best that game. Sadly enough, team was not very big brain there. I don't know what they were doing in mid all game. I did 3,800, no problem. I actually out damaged this dude. Let's see how he's averaging in the M Minotauro. Gosh. All right. Um, 3,442 games, 62%. Not bad. I was going to say new tank, but then I realized, wait, it's not released. So technically not new. It's, it's still in test. <laughs> All right. 07. Minotaur looks so OP. <laughs> the gun seems good. We're going to nerf it, LOL. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? We don't know until the tank is released. We don't know until the tank is released, what type of, what, uh, you know, how, how good it will or will not be. Dur that's the thing about test. Everything is subject to change. Absolutely everything <laughs> is, is, is subject for change there. I enjoy HRF more than played these days, Chris. <laughs> well, I do appreciate the support, my dude. All right. Let's go up the mid here. Uh, they do have an E50 M S T B 62A, so they do have some pretty annoying hold on tanks to deal with. Put a heat shot onto his side. Very nice. Good to know that you can still easily heat pen the E50M side if he's not being careful. Amex to be being quite aggro here. Oh my gosh. Okay, these dudes are definitely running... What? Oh, come on, guys. Please nuke. Please nuke this Pepega Amex 50B for playing so ridiculously aggressive here. This 50B being really aggro. Now, I did get penned through the front of my turret there somehow. 50B still wants to put shots into me, which is quite adorable, if I'm honest with you. STB is trying as well. But we are bouncing most of the shots. So that's good. We are still bouncing most of, most of the enemy team's shots here. Jaeger can't quite shoot me anymore. 50B got nuked for all of his hit points, which is cool. The 1A3 is still unspotted, but um, I don't want to overpeak the top. Only concern is just the pattern holding this mid here. We do have a lot of dudes up top, though, so the enemy team can't really pressure up top. That's the good news. All right, let's see. There's the 1A3 of the enemy team. Let's see if we can pull forward here. Maybe put a shell towards them. There we go. 378. Nice little high roll indeed. If I just show this dude my front, he shouldn't be able to pen me easily. So I think the STB is running calibrated. 330 heat is kind of going through some of my weak spots here. But we are still baiting him. Very cool. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Let's clear the 62A out. Let's clear these other dudes from up top here. But first, we're going to bait the STB into thinking he's safe. We're going to track him. Very nice. Big brain bait plays. Uh, we know where the Jaeger is. 62A is about to die here. Nice. We know where the 1A3 is as well. Although I might not be able to spot him if he's in that bush. So let's be careful not to overextend here. And we have a big brain Jaeger pushing in below us. Okay. Big brain Jaeger is getting flanked by the Patton. Nice, nice plays by the Patton there with the big brain fl fl flank plays. Put another shell into this Yag. Very nice. We are still safe from Mr. Jaeger we should go down pretty quickly here. And I guess all the farm that's really left is the 50M and the 100 I know the 1A3 got nuked already, so I'm going to pull through here just a little bit. Don't want to over-aggress because you know that 1A3 do be waiting for shots on me. Let's push on the 100 here. Very nice. And we should end up with a decent game overall. So I will take that. Getting a ricochet from this dude. We'll pull back. STB still playing very, very, very aggro here. He does ricochet off of me again. Adorable. Um, really can't pen this dude. So I'm going to act like I just fired or I'm going to act like I'm distracted. Oh, wow. He actually still shots in my turret. This is Sag. Bouncing the 100 there. Um, my teammates are actually like one shots. I should be a little bit more cautious here not to die. All right. E100's not looking. Let's put a shell into his side. Make him a one shot. Very nice. Oh, I had heat loaded up still. I'm a Muppet. 
Oh, our Fosh does get taken down here. But maybe my allies can do something about this E50M, or I'll take care of them myself. Nice, one to one gets taken out. At least Mr. E100, Mr. Mr. E100, die. <laughs> Alright, boys, full send for the dub. I believe in myself. Easy. Easy. We, uh, we blocked so much damage that game, I think. <laughs> Almost to our legs. Let's go. Out of the four European tanks, which do you recommend to grind on? <laughs> um, GG2268 that game. Let me think. TVP's memes, I think it's still like insanely good, but obviously there are tanks like the 60 GP that are always just reliably good heavies. Kron is actually pretty good now too. It's hard to say, dude. All the European tanks, with maybe excluding the Progetto, are like really good. And the Progetto's good, but maybe not quite there yet. A certain RGM member stats look pretty spicy in the Minotauro. Ah, I I have absolutely no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, Trevor, I was a player. I tried very hard to be better at W, so hold on. It takes a team to win. Huh? I, I, I'm so confused, Carlos. Carlos, wait. <laughs> Are the teams? It takes a team to win. Everyone goes. Oh, I am. I, I, I couldn't even read all of that. Uh, Carlos, I, I agree. It takes a team to win. It does take team play to win. The only problem is most of the teams don't, uh, don't really pull that off very well. But I, one thing you guys will notice if you watch my streams, I actually do play with my teams quite often in terms of like supporting and and stuff like that. I don't just sit back and one hundred percent like damage farm all the time. I do sometimes. Most of the time I don't, uh, because that's just you know. Your teammates are just going to die as a result if you do that. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to try and get behind this Badger and E50. I can't push directly onto them because they're going to be way too hard for me to kill by myself. So we're going to go for a little flinky flinky action here. Oh, oh my. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, what is this? Why is there an E75 up here now? Well, th this game has me mad confused. Oh, he's bone stock. Oh, he's bone stock. Bless this poor soul. If I can kill him real quickly, I can yell the 215B. Let's put another shell into this man's. Oh, bless this poor man's. Oh, bless this poor man's. Okay. 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 I can't help it, boys. I can't help it. One track shot. I, uh, I didn't get the big brain ram out. This is so unfortunate. Oi, 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 you don't pen those. Let's go. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Reverse angle that. Reverse angle that booty. Okay, okay. Keep, keep reverse angling that booty. Okay. Come on, come on. Get close. Up close and personal. Up close and personal. We survived these. We survived these. We survived these. He doesn't pen. Let's go! We are so big brain guys. <laughs> this armor profile literally three takes shooting at me two shooting at my bub for like an entire 30 seconds there while i'm killing the grill dang it man if that girl didn't have a repair kit i would have just bopped him that would have been so fun but you know what we, that was still a pretty fun brawl okay e 100 healthy ice force pretty healthy we should be chilling here i'm gonna go kill the badger and i'll take care of the type 71 later dang it i wanted to ram the living daylights out of the grill but he just escaped me that was a good play on his part running away as quickly as he did there but i'll still take it I still take it. This is still a GG to me. One shell into the type. 425 here. Type still running around like a headless pigeon. Let's put another shell into him. And uh, type 71 is quickly realizing that his life just outright sucks. Nice. DPM goes burr. That's precisely why I do run Rammer on this tank, by the way. I'm just throwing it out there. Rammer is... Um, Nice in situations like that, when you're like just yoloing into tanks you can pen. That's the only reason why I was able to really stay alive there is because I had the DPM to kill that grill and then turn my attention to 15 b 4,500 damage dealt, 1,700 blocked. Enemy team couldn't pen me. I feel bad for them almost, but I don't because it was me they were shooting at, so that's a total dub. So, and where was this in our chain? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you saying? That? Where is the bubby? I, I'm not sure. Maybe under the bed, hiding. Big Brain 205B, really paid actor. By the way, if that 205B is running rammer, he physically can't pen me with APCR. Poor dude. Oh, seven, Fatness. Who's seven, sir? Or ma'am? Or, or whatever. Okay, we are going to spot up pretty aggressively down low here. Uh, see if we can find any of their meds crossing. So far, none of them have crossed. 
Enemy team do have tanks on A, which could just be like the E100 or something. Alright, let's angle up to the M60 here. He does spend a heat shell to me with the TVP. Hopefully, I get support from my allies. You know what? I might be a little bit overextendo here. Um, but if, if my allies just full send it with me, we're good. If I can keep the enemy team at bay, that's that's the important part. Alright, there's the 183. It's my track shell into him. Very nice indeed. Alright, allies. Oh! Thank you for all that assist, ladies and gentlemen. Put a hatch shell into this dude. Very nice. And M03 is finally coming up for some support here. I'm a bit worried that that TVP and object are going to start pushing from behind. But it looks like that's not their plan just yet. Do we have anyone holding the outside? We have a Yak holding the outside. Okay. Then, hopefully, we should be able to play this hold down engagement. We have the roof of the, of the V4, so we can just keep pressuring here. We're going to force the enemy team into the open, essentially. Um, we do have the M60s, put another hat shot towards them. Not quite. E4 is holding his shell for now. I believe this this V4 won't be able to really pen me very easily. Let's put a heat shell into him. 254. Very nice. V4 does shoot. He is getting bopped by the E4 in just a moment. Never mind. V4 can't shoot. Um, sorry. E4 uh, does rushes his shot, unfortunately, which results in the V4 surviving a little longer than he should. But it's not over just yet. Okay. We got to kill this V4 before I can start farming out this left-hand side here. All right. E100's in the open for now. Aim a heat shell to lower plate. Very nice. Ooh, this M60 looking a bit like a snack, but probably shouldn't throw my tank away for no reason here. Let's focus this dude out real quick. We'll pull back from the M60. We are still very much hauled down. Okay, you know what? This is too good of an opportunity, boys. This is too good of an opportunity to resist. It's too good to resist. Bomb! Ooh! Hitting the M60 for 500 ram damage there. The dude is struggling to pen us here. Put another kill shot into our man. So he goes down. They still have some pretty healthy heavy tanks. We should watch out for that. Let's perma track the 100 in the open if we can, though. Okay, I think the 50 TP can't quite shoot at me. And all the 100s on reload for just a little while longer. Let's take his tracks off again. Very nice. He's not quite looking at me just yet. This might be my opportunity to put another shell until me gets taken out. It was worth it to bomb that M60, 100%. We have done 2,800 spotting slash tracking damage this game because of those tracks in the 183 and stuff. Let's put another shell into this dude, 373. Very good. He gets bombed, unfortunately. Um, so we can't farm him out, but ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What do we have here? We have ourselves a fine and dandy snack. That's what we have here. All right, TVP, I hope you're ready to get get the bombed 2.0 let, let me ram you buddy let me ram you okay or just let the e4 kill you anyways you could have had more damage if you let me ram you buddy <laughs> well that was good <laughs> fatter secretly has no teeth or chin what this is lies 2800 spotting or tracking damage on the 183 and the 100 there primarily uh and yeah not a bad game captain stingham actually did okay damage that game bombing our 704 and 200 i presume do we have like 3k career in this tank finally oh 2092 we're getting close guys we might be able to 3k career this tank which is honestly be quite the achievement that means the only tank i'll have under 3k in tier 10 will be the mouse which is fine i used that for trolling back in 2015. <laughs> it happens tanks <laughs> I have the old blue 5k rating count with the 50 m and now it's with PBR. It looks really hot. Oh, I bet, dude. I bet. Wait, I thought the 50 m new HD model is, ner is nerfed. The turret is a lot more bigger than before. It's not that much bigger. And also, it got increased thickness on the turret and the hull. So, dude, the PBR E50 m is straight up a buff. What are we averaging? 4,055 average. 18 games in, 83% win rate. Absolutely just chatting in the master class of a tank that is the E50M. All right, let's not get spotted up by that dude just yet. That way we can spot the crossing ourselves, but you know what, never mind. Sometimes things just do not go as planned. Let's push down to the Progetto and sometimes things just do not go as planned. All right. <laughs> What's my name? What's my name? Chalk and Bulls. Thank you so much for the donation. I have edited your username to be appropriate. All right. Oh, hello, Centurion. Okay, we know where the scent is. We know where the Yeager is. is. Uh, do I have anyone on the outside that assists me here? Not really, so that's a bit of a concern. All right, let's put a heat shell to this dude, maybe. He is spamming hash at me, but you know... Oh, the one two ones here is... Wait, how is that one two one like, unspotted there? That doesn't even make sense. Okay. Now, the good news is these dudes really can't pen me, so I can just keep chilling here all day long, and they won't be able to pen me, even the one two one. Okay, right, guys, you're going to help me on the on this outside lane. <laughs> All right. Um, I really want to push this side, but I have no support here. Chieftain, do you want 57? Do you want to help? You know what? I I believe in a 50M armor profile. I'm just gonna full commit here. 
No cap. We're full committing to the push on Mr. 121B here. Mads won't even be able to pen me anyway, so. I mean, this game is already over for the enemy team, isn't it? All right, this dude has the higher DPM. We'll take his tracks off. He's going for the YOLO run after all. All right. He managed to get a ricochet here. Take his tracks off again. Very nice. He did hit my hatch there for his shell. But as long as I keep shaking, 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 we're good. Another ricochet. 57 finally coming in for the support. What a Giga Chad player. All right, let's aim for a track shot. And he's dead very fast. Wow, what a sweep game. No way I'm farming that game. Their team got annihilated. <laughs> Fat is big brain. <laughs> Chalk and bulls for the win. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> All right. 24 to damage dealt. Not bad. I guess considering an absolute sweep fest that that game was. So we are under 4k average. It's okay. We are still doing really good in the win rate department at 84%. <laughs> Fatness is poop. <laughs> Every time I hear PBR, I think, yeah, interesting. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna bomb the med side. They only have a TVP and M48 and, and a um, object 84. In theory, they won't be able to hold med side very well against against the holdout E50M. I usually play heavy side in this type of situation, but I personally think, you know, given what type of tanks they have, we can pull this play off. So we do spot the M46 Paton, who also spotted me up, but it's okay. I can just sit here, and these dudes can't do anything to me. Okay, let's wait till a few more tanks get spotted up. Okay, 65 is crossing with. Very good. Very good indeed. And we're going to focus the pound out first. He has a little bit more DPM than the others there. Object 84 will definitely kind of struggle to pen me here. So I'm going to track shot to him. Very nice. I can see Mr. TVP is getting quite, quite happy to YOLO here. So we'll just side scrape this corner with our Giga Chad armor profile. We'll just try and angle up a little bit here. TVP shoots at me once, put another shot to him. Let's try and angle up our hall just ever so slightly. Just side scraping like an absolute Giga Chad player. This dude can't do anything to me. Now, unfortunately, we do lose an ally here. This TVP is still just big braining over here. Ricocheting off me again. Ah, yes, I love side scraping in this tank. It's so meme sometimes. Okay. Object 84, trying to make a break for it. And my gun says no. Uh, anyways, our IS-7 is just bombing them, by the way. Like, I, I totally forgot to call it out. But this dude is straight up just bombing them. So, let me go support our IS-7 for the time being. Now, I don't know where the 183 is. But looking at our 55 A's HP, he might have got hit by him. IS-7, he may be bombing them, but he's giving me the farm. And you know what? I appreciate that. Okay. Another shell into this man's here. 183, I believe, still to be unspotted, so we should be cautious of that. There's the super bunker. Let's put a shell towards him. Sadly, unable to pen him from this angle, but the good news is he can't pen me either. So, um, track shot? Not quite. Okay. You wonder it's on the outside. Okay, okay. This might be a mistake, considering they're 183, and I believe I still am spotted. I'm going to wait till I'm a little bit less likely to be spotted. Please don't bomb me. Please don't bomb me. Please don't bomb me. Yay, we weren't bombed. Let's go... All right, that evil hunter is dead. There's no reason for me to go for him. I can farm out the Conqueror instead, though. Or you know what? We still might be able to bomb the E100 for a shot here, at least. Nice. Give me that shot. Very good stuff, indeed. Oh, hi! <laughs> All right, buddy. You ready to see my epic side-scraping skills? I got this, fam. All right, all right. We're going we're gonna to bait this dude. We are, we are pro. Let's go! We are pro. Look at us, dude. Pro, pro at baiting the enemy team. Track him. Velkon Staffa. All right, sir. All right, sir. All right, sir. A little love tap. A little shot. You can't even shoot anything but the outside of my turret. It's game over for you, son. It's game over for you, son. Game over. Say your final farewells, my dude. All right, I actually want my 4K this game. 5K. Piece of cake. <laughs> Going bedside side was so easy, dude. They couldn't pen me. This sat there side scraping. Just when you are side scraping an E50M, one thing you'll notice I was doing there, I'm barely angling out. If you slightly over angle, your drive wheel is super easy to pen. So do be careful not to over angle your E50M if you're going to try side scraping it. Otherwise, that TVP could have like clipped me for 1200 if I was playing carelessly there. But uh, piece of cake, yeah. 5k damage dealt. That's what we like to see. Very nice indeed. Sounds like a Korean food. <laughs> huh? Fan is about as good as me. Epic. <laughs> GG's fans have to go. Love the stream. Catch you later. Lewis, thank you for dropping by. You take care and have yourself a good rest of your evening. What's this guy saying? Fatness is almost as good as him. Oh, I have no clue what you guys are talking about, so I'm just going to meme you. 
Z50 on the best tier 10 med now in your point of view? I don't know if it's the best tier 10 med, but it's definitely one of the most versatile. Oh, almost blind fired that dude. I think when it comes to tier 10... So that just happened. Um, anyways. Yeah. Most versatile is, is what I was saying. Also, this 140 is kind of letting me know that their team is... I believe their team is very... Very split up here. No one spotted up yet. We should try killing this 140 while we have a chance. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait, 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 wait. 140. Stay right there, buddy. Stay right there. Ha, 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 ha. Wait, what? Why are you pulling up so aggressively? Why are you YOLOing me? Why, why are you YOLO? Surely you do not believe this is a good idea, friend. Should have just shot him there. Oh, well. All right. Well, we found their T30, we found their IS-7, E100, Leo, and 121. Their team playing very aggressively in town. Quite an interesting play by them. I think what I shall do for now... Ooh, 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 do we have shots on the Mr. E100 here? Not quite, but if he does pull forward, I should have shots on him. And I'm sure he will pull forward in just a moment. Bop, one shell into him. Very nice, we've done a thousand damage already. That's what we lack to see. Let's aim a second shell into his booty. 382, very nice, very nice. And we will get ready to aim another shell into him. Boom, 321. Very crude indeed. Alright. So, uh, E100 busy kind of bobbing my allies just a little bit. But, uh, he can't do much now. I'm gonna wait for him to get distracted. I'd love to yolo in on this dude, but, uh, instincts tell me probably a bad idea. So, let's see. E100, not spot up. There's the I7. Oh, we hit those for days, brother. Alright, hitting those shots for days. Wild Waffenträger. Leo spotted in the back. E100, I don't know if he's looking my way or not. He's not. E100, I believe, has just fired. Let's put a quick shell towards him. Okay, not quite able to hit him. We have a Leo over here on my left. Put a quick shell into this man's here. And we're gonna pull in. We're gonna bomb the Waffenträger. Oh my goodness, almost no damage dealt. All right. HE kill shot. Very nice. The game is still looking very spicy for yours truly. Let's aim for those field tanks, maybe. One more shell into the E100 here. And, uh, track shot, maybe. Another shell to his side. Very cool indeed. I'm gonna try and get safe from this dude. Another shell to um, let's angle up our turret here. Get that ricochet. Let's go. Just me and the one to one versus this dude for now. All right, another shell to the side of his turret. I seven Loki wants to get bombed, but first I should probably kill this dude here. I seven is getting bombed by the Leo, I believe. Well, he's practically AFK at this point. Ram. Ooh, yes. Okay, and hopefully we can pick up that kill. Nice. Piece of cake. Piece of cake games, dude. E50M is such a chad tank. <laughs> Normal fatness driving. <laughs> L driving. Focus on gameplay. <laughs> Stop shaving me. Hey, we still got a chill 5k damage out. Very chill indeed. Very nice. This is what we like to see. Loki, I kind of like Rammer on this tank. 2,994. Oh, we might reach the historical moment that I 3k this tank. Alas, after seven years of owning it. <laughs> That is why using enhanced armor. Is it really necessary? No clue, but I think it works. So that's good enough for me. Alrighty. But can 350 millimeter M keep up the current meta now? Can, huh? 350? Oh, I think you meant E50M. Uh, yeah, no, 100% the 50 m keeps up. It's one of the better meds to deal with the meta because it's super fast. Like this tank reaches 60 kilometers an hour with absolutely no problem. TBP, we got a bail, buddy. We got a bail. We got a bail, TBP. Run. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I think the reason why the 50M does actually give up with the meta is because it's so fast, right? It goes 60. It actually has really good acceleration for its its weight. And so you just have to kind of be, you know, it's just a little bit smarter in your positioning. Don't get caught in the open, obviously. And you will be able to get some decent damage games out in this tank reliably. And I think win quite often. I mean, we're running 86% so far today. This is before my brain starts deteriorating. And I, and I start yoloing like an idiot, but who knows when that happens. It happens at some point during every stream. Uh, but yeah, well, let's go push all the way into the enemy spawn. Their team is very obviously split up here. Now we could hold our spawn, but holding that spawn actually kind of sucks a little bit because you're always kind of caught in the open. We do find a wild concept 1B. Let's aim a shell into his lower plate, 316. Very nice. I don't know if he can spot me up. It is a concept after all. Heat shell, um, let's wait for him to turn his turret maybe. Oof. Unlucky, brother. So our TVP did get nuked running away. I think we gotta kill the concept. 
57's going town, which is good news. Concept seems to be by himself for the time being. Put a quick shot to the 57. I don't want to get clipped out by him, obviously, so I'm going to pull down just a little. My damage. Okay, 57 is no longer a nuisance that we have to deal with. Me and the 50B are about to just slam dunk on this poor concept over here, who has absolutely no clue that we are coming. Ooh, 800 damage out of this dude. All right, let's angle up that hull armor. Angle it up, angle it up, angle it up, angle it up. Yo, get it, those ricochets. Amex it to be. Come help, help homie out over here, huh? Very nice. We're going to go yo the Kopf Panzer because this game is already going to be a sweep. So if I want any farm this game, i got to be very fast about it. All right, he can't pin my upper plate. I'm pretty sure he can't. He's too low profile anyways. I mean, look at this dude struggle. Oh, he does pen my upper plate, but he pulled back far enough to hit the very corner. Actually, he hit my lower plate there. Makes sense. All right. Um, he's dead. Very cool. Ooh, ooh, T100 LT. Ooh, I only have 500 hit points, but ooh, is it T100 LT? Mm. I become deranged when I'm in E50M, and I see a Pepega light tank sitting in Narnia. I can't help it. I have a problem, ladies and gents. I have a problem. It's called E50M syndrome. Can we survive? Ooh. Scammed. 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 Okay. T1 LT had more situational awareness than I had predicted there. This is rather unfortunate. Maybe if I can kill the 1 2 1 here. Okay. Can I get some team support against this Leo here? You don't hit those. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, allies. Help, help, help the homie out over here. Okay. We get one ricochet. Oh, snap. No. What are my allies doing? Heavies, move. <laughs> oh, my goodness. These heavies wandered into the enemy spawn instead of just pulling straight back through mid. Why? Okay, I kind of threw. I should have shot HG at the team. I was trying to track him, but apparently you can't track the team LT very easily. Luckily, this Leo isn't very smart. Uh, nor is our AMX 50 120, but they should be able to win this pretty easily. Just play for caps. Like, once you kill this Leo, play for the caps, buddy. Come on. Oh, he's on B cap. Kill him. I believe in you, buddy. Why do players shoot on the move all the time now? I swear. Dude, he's gonna he's gonna miss this. Oh, okay. you hit those, right? Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. M103, yeah, yeah. Kill the 200 LT. M103, big, big, be a big brain. Be a big brain. Kill the 200 LT. AMX, move. AMX, move. AMX, move. Oh my gosh. Look at our AMX just throw his tank away. Dude, these dudes are... These dudes can't be serious right now, can they? This dude doesn't have the reload to kill the 200 LT. It's over. I can't believe what I have just witnessed here. You gotta be kidding me. AMX just had to move. Oh my gosh, our team threw so hard. I thought, okay, we have two full HP heavies. This should be fine. I take that back. My faith in humanity has has, has ended. Oh wait, Leo's shooting HE. Wait, if he stays alive just a little longer, just stay alive a little longer. Leo keeps shooting HE, please. Oh yes! Okay, we got it, we got it. Oh my gosh, we're so lucky that the Sun 103. Shoot. Oh. We're so lucky that the, the caps ran out in our favor there. Holy crap, what am I watching? <gasps> oh man, well, I got four and a half thousand damage that game. Uh, I lost a lot of HP to Rams, which is why I ended up dying. I mean, T1 LT farmed 6k up, so I guess not a bad game for him. Our TVP did zero. <laughs> Holy, M103. And uh, it was the AMX 5120 that threw the hardest that game. No cap, that dude was just like, bro. <laughs> What did we just witness? What monstrosity? Dang it. If my HE had max rolled that, that uh, like 515 to the rear of that, uh, that 200 LT and my first HE, I just shot AP instead of HE for my first shot instead of trying to track him with HE. We, we would, I would have actually gone all of that far myself. Feels bad. Bots to bots interaction. A yeah, very big brain. Indeed. Okay, we're gonna spot up the mid now. Uh, the enemy team only have a 422, which is a deadly tank, and it is very fast. But uh, they also have Type 71, 57, AMX 50B. They have some very fast heavies. As you can see, one of them is already spotted. Sadly, unable to pen that dude. Now, he shouldn't be able to spot me because he's a heavy tank. Okay, that tells me the 422 wasn't in a position to spot me. Let's put a shell. RNG says, no you, let me scam you. And uh, so I get scammed by RNG. Let's go. I love getting scammed by RNG. Okay, so here's what we're going to do here. 57, our 57 is getting slam dunked on. We've lost the A corner. There's not a whole lot I can do about that. My, most of my team's in C. 
However, I should, for the time being, have some shots over here. Alright, AP shell, hat shot onto this dude. And now we're going to keep this Type 71 at bay. We're going to kill the 50B first. He's more deadly. He's in for a track shot. Very nice. 57 putting a couple shells into I don't care if the Type shoots me. I'd rather kill the AMX 50B here. Nice. Taking out their most deadly tank. We can just hold this ditch for now. Our E6 is full sending it. He apparently wants to take all of the damage for the team. Let's put a shell into his 57 Heavy. Pull forward a little bit here. Keep that angle up. Now the Tortoise with its 4K DPM is definitely going to be a bit of a problem here. So let's pull back from the Tortoise. All right, all right, there's the tortoise here, and we can put a heat shell into him, I think. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's the type. Okay. Badger's rear on. We should focus on killing the badger first. There we go. 390 HE into him. Very cool stuff indeed. 57, I think, is still reloading. Oh, nope, oh, I take that back. He, he held on to his last shell? I don't know what happened. I think he must have held on to his last shell there. All right, let's kill the badger. Not sure where that shot went, but now I have a 4202 behind me, so let's pull back from him. Imagine the ricochet that HE there. Okay. I will keep retreating to a safe position while my allies are busy. Okay, actually, you know what? We might be able to do something here about the type. Dang it, I, I just give up the opportunity to kill that type here. Hmm, this isn't looking too this isn't looking too too great for my allies, is it? No way, the badger just brained on like my whole team there. 752 gets spot in the open, very nice. Okay, 57 picks up this kill. We got to do something about this badger here. Um, only issue is I know that 422 is just waiting for me around the corner. So let's angle our ourselves in a little bit. Okay. The badger is giving me his whole rear. I should probably put a track shot onto him. Okay, we track him. Oh my gosh. I thought the 422 was shooting a 57. What is this? What is this? Very rats indeed. Okay. Yag is still healthy. We are down double caps. So I think I'm going to hop into B. On this left side of B, we'll wait for the IS-8 to full send it with this dude. Let's go, boys. We'll send it. Oh my gosh, you guys didn't help. Oh my gosh, you didn't help our, our 57 Heavy here. 422 bouncing a shot. 422, I have him on reload because I'm running Rammer and the 422 has an 8-second base reload. Just put another shell into him. I'll make him a one-tap here. Wait for the IS-8 to start making some plays here. See if we can aim for a track shot on our mans. Let's pull back into a safer position here for the time being. We know where their 4202 is, so let's just wait for him to maybe pull forward just a little bit. Go on, Ice 8, you gotta go. Gotta send it. Nice, get a kill on this dude. Good stuff. That leaves the Object 752. Well, that game was pretty close, wasn't it? Actually, it still might be pretty close in the end. Alright, one more shell into this man's. Okay, I'm getting scammed every time I shoot at this tank. What is this nonsense? Alright. I, I think this dude's reloading, but we have so many caps here, so I can just kind of YOLO in for the kill. Nice. Okay. Bit of a close game there, but it worked out in the end. Uh, at least tracking the badger, at least tracking the badger allowed the IS-8 to kill him. So it kind of worked in the end, because that IS-8 was not out traversing the badger until I tracked him. And that's when he picked up the kill. Wow, I actually got an ace that game. Not a bad game. GG Tour 57. Um, 57. Sorry, I, I should have helped you in that initial push there. I feel bad that he died. Uh, but I did my best. <laughs> I was just trying to see if I could shoot the object. I didn't realize he was full sending it until I, because I was tunnel vision on the object there. And then I was like, oh, whoa, he's already down there. Like the game, there's a noticeable shot delay. Not because of being. Is there? I don't know. Does anyone know a shot delay? Uh, yeah, it's called being Mr. Take Memes. <laughs> Savage out here, man. I fast is a three plus crew mastery provision really necessary or should I just use the pro proactive crew one instead? Wait, what, what what provision are we talking about, guys? If we're talking about double food, that's I just run double food and fuel on the E50M. I just I just call it fuel, food, that type of stuff. Um Okay. Object 140 making some very sussest plays to try and shoot at me here. And well, he has no more HP to, to talk about as a result. Of his sus's plays. Ooh, I made a sus's play. Okay, so 300 alpha means they have a. That was a heat shell from a 1, 105, right? That would have to be a heat shell from a 105. That's the only thing that could have shot me. Maybe it's like back there. Anyways, the enemy team is split. I think we can just yellow this. Let's see. Yeah, the 140 should go down pretty quickly. It was a standard B's 10, 105 that shot at me there. We have a Sheridan. We know where the Conway is. We know where the 50B is. 50B should be giving me farm here in just a moment if I poke around this corner here. 
Okay, I can't quite spot him because of the bush placement, I think, which is a bit unfortunate. All right, let's see. Some, t some tanks went into the mid, right? All right, enemy team being quite aggro down the mid. I have to watch out for that 50 beast position, so I don't want to stick here too long. Put a shell into the back of this dude's turret. Sheridan does take a shell there. Very cool indeed. Uh, Conway pulling up. Not really sure how that shot missed, but uh, there you have it. Sometimes the game just do you like that, and there's nothing you can do about it. All right, push on the side of the ice floor, maybe. He's looking. 50B seems to be a bit distracted for the time being. I'm pretty haul down here, so I don't have to worry about too much if I just sit here. Um, IS4 and E75 are playing a little aggro for me, though, which is something I'll have to keep an eye on. All right, IS4 is distracted for a second. Let's put a quick shell into him. Nice. Sheridan spotting up the crossing here. Uh, hopefully the uh, E75 is going to give me a side shot. Boom. Bouncing to Sheridan again. Dude, this 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 armor profile is is not is, is not joking around. Put a shell through the weak spot of this dude. All right. So Sheridan, I believe, is the one that's capping C now. Let's put a shell towards this dude's hatch. Boom. Pull back. We are slowly farming these dudes out. Um, besides, four things he's had enough of playing games with my tank here. He's just straight up sending it. But, I mean, what's he going to do to me? He, 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 is, he is a rat to IS4. There's not much he can do. Just put another shell into his tracks there. Very good stuff. Hopefully, one of my allies can kill him. If not, I can kill myself. Cool. Standard B and Conway. I think we're going to go for the standard B over here. Let's see. If it, is the Sheridan going to give me any shots here? Not quite. Conway's going for a 140. I'm going to go help our SD1 out real quick. Prepare to get to Max Road. Not quite a Max Road, but a massive ram coming in as he loses 300 HP there. SD1 picks up the kill. Conway is, I believe, going for me, maybe. Oh, he does kill one of my teammates here. Sheridan goes down on my team. That does leave the Conway in the open here for a split second longer. I'm going to get safe from their Sheridan. And hopefully their Conway... No! Oh! Why is this reload? Ah, oh, gosh. I thought it was like 15 seconds on that thing with the dirt, but it must have been way shorter than that. I had to move. We were going to lose the cap regardless. Maybe I could have hopped into, into the cap, but we're going to lose this game to caps. Not really sure how our whole team got brained on by a single Conway in their spawn, but uh, there you have it. So, unfortunately, I uh, could have played the ending a little better, but otherwise, I think I did a fine job that game. Kind of the issue is that allies are just dying left, right, and center. Uh, and so, sadly... Sadly, our winning streak is over, but we'll still have like an 85% win rate in this tank, I think. I should have angled my haul up a little bit more there. I just wanted to get across before the 50M. Because I couldn't sit around all day. That's the issue. And like, if I wanted to sit back and play passive, I could. But then any team already had 800 cap points with double cap. They were going to win in about a minute anyways if I didn't do anything. So I just figured I'd try and be extra aggro. See if I could bait the Conway by sidescaping the corner. But uh, he reloaded a little faster than I predicted. Alrighty, let's see. We still have 83% win rate, 4100 average. I won't complain. We're still holding up quite well in the mighty E50M. Let's reach that 300 like mark while we're at it. Enemy team have a Progetto and M60. Uh, as far as team support, we have zero. So I'm going to be a little careful here. In case they send an IS-7, 57 to the corner. You never know with these teams nowadays. You know, that could be very bad for me. Now, luckily, I can deal with a Progetto. No problem. And I can also deal with the M60. No problem. I just have to sit back, take it easy, you know, wait wait for these dudes in the open, give me some free shots here. Oh, wow, our whole team turned around. What was that, dude? Their team baited me so hard. Okay, we're getting some nice ricochets. Obviously, the Progetto doesn't have the best heat pen in the world. This is making my life a little easier here. It's one other shell into him. Um, we are just slam dunking on this poor, poor Progetto. Um, he's quickly learning why you shouldn't rely too much on a Progetto's arbor profile against an E50 yet. So, Progetto just... He's just losing all of his hit points here. Finally getting shot in the hatch, which was a, a, a heat shell into the hatch, I guess, which is the best these dudes can do for now. Let's put a shot into the M60's hatch. Just braining on these dudes. This combination of accuracy and, um... Yeah, combination of accuracy and DPM and armor that the 50M gets truly is something special. Put a shell towards this dude. Sadly, we do fluff that shot up. But he is also, like, mega overaggressed here. Oh, okay, he's just gonna try and run away, I guess. I don't know. He's just running around like, like a headless pigeon. We'll track him for a Sheridan. Sheridan should have the kill on him, so we can push forward on the grill now. This game is a sweep and a half, I think. That is pretty obvious. But we are going to just try and get some more damage into this dude. He gets double tapped, maybe, with an HE. And we can one-ram him here. 
Nice, ramming the grill to death there, very good. Now they still have three, I believe, well, two healthy heavy tanks. The 100 and one of the I-7 should be pretty healthy for farm here. So, we gotta be super aggro if we want damage this game. There's the enemy Z100, there's the 57, sorry, not IS-7, 57. They were both 7s in the end. Um, we're gonna just jump into this ditch. Yeah, I guess not too bad of a game. Dude, E50M hold down. Who would've thought it'd be so effective? Like, poor tier 10 meds actually can't pen you. It's it's kind of kind of sad for tier 10 med when you can't pen an E50M. All right, let's aim for an AG shell and just do its bootiness. Very nice indeed. Looks like he's just full sending it. Hopefully we get a 500 max roll HE. Not quite. We're gonna go for the 100 because we are we are going for that damage, ladies and gentlemen. All right, E100's looking my way. All right, let's do a let's do a scientific experiment. Wow, that was not a good experiment. So we lost 1,400 hit points from the 100. Very nice. Uh, we did like what 600 in return. That wasn't a wasn't maybe the best trade in the world, but it was the end of the game, and I got all the damage on him, so I won't complain. Luckily, I just survived that ram. So um. Cheers. <laughs> Actually, we only ran him for 429. <laughs> the ramming god that is the uh, E50M. Is it just me or does the E50M not smack as hard as it used to? I swear it used to ram for more than this. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> I see what we got. <laughs> Below average tanker, it can make you extra cash though, my bro. Huh? <laughs> that was amazing, lol. I know, dude. I quite literally just got dunked on by a 183, but it was actually their, um... It was actually just me throwing away all of my HP to the, to the E100, but it was the equivalent of getting 183. That was a great scientific experiment. We would not recommend ramming E100s, even in their sides. Like, that's a weakly armored spot of the E100. I should be able to ram them more easily from the side versus my front, but, uh... If I'd ram the front of his tank, I would have died there for sure. Alright, let's track the TVP. Yo, the TVP kind of done messed up a little bit. Let's aim for another track shot, maybe. Not quite, but he does lose a few, a few chunks of HP here. 183 on the enemy team. Not quite looking at me just yet in a position where he can deal anything with me. Uh, MX30 on the enemy team being quite aggro. See if he backs up a little bit. Side shot, 290 into him. Very nice indeed. We're actually doing okay here. All right, let's see. Hat shot on the MX30. Not quite able to hit that. Sheridan's getting a little aggro. So we know where their 183s are. At least both of their 183s are kind of in the open. Let's put a shot to this dude. There's going to be some pretty decent farm right now in the good old E50M. So let's see. This AMX30 gives me another shot. Not quite. 183 might back up into my reticle here if I were to back out slightly this way. Well, hello. 300 into you. Good. I think we can start getting ready to push this side. Maybe it's just my rat brain thinking, but um, I sure would love to YOLO this side. Okay, I know they have a second 183 somewhere. Oh, we baited them. Let's go. This is all we need to do, ladies and gentlemen. Wee! Wee! <laughs> I just violated the Sheridan. Oh my goodness. The Sheridan's luck versus me and the 50M has not been the best, has it, man? Oh my goodness, man. That Sheridan just got dunked on so hard, dude. Alright, that was still worth. That was still worth. I might go down here. Nice, we get a ricochet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that Sheridan probably hates his life after experiencing such, such wrath from me. I think this dude still has a shell in the mag. I don't know, 100%. Oh well. Risk it for the biscuit, ladies and gents. Let's hope, let's hope he's on a let's hope he's on a reload. Please be on a reload. Whee! Okay. Shoot my shoot shoot my shoot my homie instead of me, buddy. I believe. Nice. Oh man. That was fun. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what a sudden. <laughs> Bad as I feel like I'm a straight order. <laughs> Brother, you still did top damage. May you rest in peace. May you rest in peace. My goodness. What's your third or like, Mark, for the epic Rams, dude? Oh man. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That poor E50, lol. We're all laughing at you right now. 
Oh, dude, I, I'm, I'm laughing. I just feel, I kind of feel bad. That is what you make my dog. Dude, because I baited the 183, so it was the, like after that, it was just free. It was a free for all. Good night, guys. The fattest. Curtis, Curtis, take care. Have yourself a great night. Man, the 50M is so fun. Here, I, I've never really been like a huge fan of the E50M. I don't dislike it and I've never like thought of it as a bad tank. It's just not a tank I've always been super into playing. But my goodness, my opinion on it might change after today. Like Loki, this tank just slaps. Okay, what's this TVP doing? HE. Typical TVP syndrome. You know TVP syndrome, guys. TVP syndrome. So it's where the autoloader is like, I'm big brain. I can I can YOLO forward and get a clip of damage out. It's like, no. Yo, good trade, bro. Good trade. Hmm, I believe there's Sheridan. It might be a little bit uh, isolated over here. Now, the Baja is coming back for me, but I'm going to push onto their type for now. Hopefully, my allies do something about the Sheridan. I don't really feel like getting dunked on him right now. Okay, the Sheridan's a bit a bit lost right now. Let's push onto the... Oh my gosh, this type is so lucky. Oh, of course, RNG really does hate me, doesn't it? RNG really, really does hate me right now, huh? Oh, sure he hits that, bruh. Okay, the Sheridan's getting dunked on, though. That's the important part. Okay. Okay. Yoink. All right, the one to one b won't be able to do much here soon. Badger's pretty, pretty, pretty overextended. It's pushed onto the type here. Very nice. We are not farming a whole ton in this situation, because we kind of, we kind of nuked all of our HP. Like, very Pepega player that we are. Badger's about to go down, though. 405 is a bit ISO in the corner here. Now, 405 can clip me if I pull back a little too much, so let's not do that. Let's try and pick up a kill on this dude. What a sweep game. Dude, this game is not going to be a farm battle. Holy smokes, this game is fast. Yeah, absolutely no farm to be had there. Their team just got annihilated, and I was just kind of big chilling in the mid there. Mistakes were made. Okay. Fired once. Fired twice. Away from the fire three times. What? Of course he hits that. 405 gun go burr. Okay, TVP should have him. I believe their 405 is now on a reload. Come on, 405. Come up to come to Papa. Or just keep running in circles. Keep running away. Oh, good job. <laughs> it's okay. I didn't get to shoot you for 300 damage, but you took a full clip from the yo instead. I think that's a good trade. <laughs> Wow, I thought you were YOLO with me, LOL. Huh? YOLO with who? What what are you talking about? Yaro, are you are you are you in my were you in one of my games? Oh, a black gold veil. <laughs> Where were you? Or was it not Black Gold Veil? Was it Alpenstadt? Oh, you're the 57 on Alpenstadt, I see. <laughs> You thought I was going to YOLO with you, but I paused for a second to shoot the object. <laughs> the VK72, VK90 is just the Lova, but with the turret in the back. <laughs> I suppose, yeah. Okay, we're going to spot the mid. The enemy team have double Yo's, uh, Progetto 62A, VK90, 50, 73. They have a lot of heavies and a couple of annoying meds, so I'm going to take it a little easy for now. Still holding a solid, solid amount of average damage in this tank today. Here's the VK. Let's put a quick shot to him. Pack up from their yo. We can, of course, angle up our haul here if we need to. He's giving me a little bit too much side. Boom, 350. Thank you so much, buddy. They do appreciate your donation to the HRF, HRF damage fund. All right, so the 57 is spawn sniping, which is kind of kind of cute, I guess. Um, I'm not going to side scrape against the E3. Because they always do that, dude. Everyone just spams HE at you now in this meta, I swear. Okay, good news. Enemy teams seem to be a bit split up here. They don't have anyone physically on C cap, but they have a lot of tanks in A, including their Progetto. I think that means we can kill the Yo's that are sitting above this side. I'm gonna go with this M6 Yo here. He unfortunately did get spot on the crossing and so did I. But if we push this together, we should be chilling. No one should be able to cross fire south from the right side. Oh, oh no, I take that back. That 57 is a major problem. Oh my gosh, of course that 57 is just there. Just there in Narnia. Let's put another track shot into this man. So he'll fired once. I'm gonna see if there's any way I can keep Hermit tracking the 57 here. Not quite able to, but we do manage to put a lot of damage into him while we were doing that. 
All right, there's Progetto and Yo. They might push forward here. It all kind of depends. I should be ready to back down because their other Yo tries to clip me. I am a two shot to him after all. So, all right. I'm trying to decipher what these players are doing here. All right, one shell into his hatch. Nice. Nice. He fired once. He has the big alpha gun. He's not shooting anymore though, which is good. All right, let's see if I can do anything about Mr. 62 way. One shot into the 62 way. Very good. We've already done about 3,000 damage nearly. Very cool. I think this Yo just kind of gave up on his life. He's dead anyways. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. Leaves the E3. Now I'm going to see if I can put myself in a crossfire on this Yo up top here. Let's put a quick shot into their Yo. Progetto is not really looking my way. The Yo looks like he might be backing up to try and shoot me here. So put another shell towards this dude and back up. Very nice. Very cool indeed. E3 looks like he's getting a wee bit aggro over here on our T100, so let's see. There you go. Still waiting for shots on me, I think. Let's see. We might be able to catch him off guard here. He ricochets a shell. There's my opportunity to push him on the E3 now. E3 is temporary track. Just track him again. Very nice. We should be able to pull out 4k or so damage this game. Another track shot. 200 should have the kill, and that's game over. Nice. Okay, we got 4k out. No problem. That's what we like to see. All right, Monsieur, Monsieur, Monsieur Yo, are you ready? Nope, <laughs> he's not. Not bad, almost 300 likes while we're at it. You guys wasn't lying, I have four subs now, lol. Easy, below average tanker, easy collapse. <laughs> All right, 4,200 damage dealt, not good, not bad. Okay, I almost said not good, but actually that's pretty solid. Back at 86% rune rate for 28 games, this tank is smacking, and we are smacking the enemy teams a lot too. All right. I'd give you what's left of my brain, but it might be too dead and dead and TCG. <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened to your brain? Is my man just too big brain? Okay. Here's the problem. I don't know if we have enough support to really make this play happen here. I guess the 62A is going for the spotting run. I'm not going to overcommit. Okay, there's the E50M. He's going to cross to the corner, so let's put a quick shell into him and pull back. Okay. So, I don't really like the situation, because uh, all the tanks are kind of out of this fight. But for now, I guess I'll hold back and wait for the C350M to make some mistake. I think he is side-scraping quite well, I believe. Um, that's a 5A. That was what I was worried about. Okay. I'm a oh my gosh, I'm going to get spotted now. So, Dude, get out of my... Oh my gosh, I'm going to get nuked on the way out now, thanks to this... Thanks to this Pepega Progetto here. Progetto, oh my gosh. Why, why do players always just have to get in your way for absolutely no reason? Oh, now you run away. So you're gonna run away anyways, but you just had to block me. I hope you get 183'd now. I seriously hope you get 183'd. Vrat Progetto. Oh, I am so sorry. I, I think I, I think Karma struck and he got 183'd. Uh, maybe. Okay, so. I lost way too many hit points because the Progetto blocked me when I was trying to pull out unspotted. But because he blocked me, the E50M was able to spot me up. And that's why I ended up losing so many hit points that game. It would have been fine if our Progetto hadn't blocked me there. But so is the way of life. Anyways, my team is getting just destroyed right now. There's not really a whole lot I can do about this. Our 183s are both going to die. Our Really, the main issue is our Yag and IS-4 that kind of went this way by themselves. Because they they were shooting nothing all game, really, except for the enemy's 183. Well, let's be honest, enemy's 183 wasn't a huge issue. Okay. So we're gonna pull all the way to the right side here while trying not to die just yet. We can get a shell into this dude. Okay. I don't think I'm getting any farm this battle. No sure, no sure. We are definitely not. I'm gonna pull pretty deep down to escape the crossfires. Ay ay ay. That Progetto ruined everyone's game. He ruined his own game by not running away himself, and he ruined my game by blocking me when I was trying to escape. Alright. Let's go. Let's go, guys. We aren't doing zero. I know that Sheridan is probably going to pull up on our left eventually, but for now... Alright, the 422 shouldn't be able to pen me very easily. Nice. He can't pen me from here, which is cool. I'm just a bit, a bit concerned about what that Sheridan is going to do. The 5A might be able to keep me here. I am hauled down to him, so I'm just going to keep rotating back and forth, back and forth. Another shell to this dude. 
I did as much damage as I feasibly feasibly could this battle, given the type of team we had. Bouncing the 183, Sheridan. Give me that bounce. Let's go, Sheridan. Let's go. Let's full send it, buddy. Let's full send it. Let's full send it. Let's go! Yo, 422 fluffing a shot. Oh, sh Oh? Oh? Oh my gosh! What is this game? Hello? Oh my gosh, that was way too close! <laughs> Armor goes burr! If only our Yag had killed the 422, we actually could have maybe won that. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. That was funny! Okay, shout out to the Sheridan for doing the Chad Raminus Maximus. But the, the scary part is um, his team almost lost that. His team almost lost that, dude. Their two remaining tanks were on sub 400 HP. <laughs> that was funny. That was fun. All right. We still got 4K. 83, back 83% win it. Darn it. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go left here. Uh, we have the support of our whole team. The enemy team do have triple TDs. To watch out for four two two, T ninety two, and a T Skoda T fifty. So we should be able to deal with med side pretty easily with me and the Sent and the Sheridan. But we we'll, we should be careful in case their Badger pushes all the way up to, to the mid, not to like be super aggressive to the point where we just like insta die because that's not very big brain, is it? All right. Well, Skoda quickly learning the hard way of why you don't want to poke around that corner of this map. Um, 4202 is also about to learn the hard way. Oh, he does hash me, but luckily I have a lot of DPM over this 4202. He's also by himself. Put another shell into him. 4202 is just not feeling super well. Poor man's really can't do all that much here. He gets taken out. Very nice. All right, good stuff. All right, let's see if we can maybe do anything about the Skoda here. Although I want to watch out, they probably have TDs just kind of chilling in the back. Okay, we know where the Badger is at least. I should be able to spot the TDs from here, right? Right, guys? If they were in the bush, I'd be able to spot them from here. Kind of depends on whether or not they're in the bush, though. Oh. So the TI2 is there. Into Westing. He has a long reload, though. I don't have to worry about him too much just yet. Let's put another shell to this man's. Nice. Badger losing most of his HP there in a few seconds. Let's pull back from the Badger. Oh, of course he pens that. Very, very unfortunate. I don't know if that TI2 is back in the bush, but we'll take a blind shot just in case. We'll wait for the badger to die, and then I think I'm just gonna YOLO in. Cause I mean, this game's already over. Nice, okay. Oh my goodness, where did you come from, buddy? Well, we are we are so dead. Why? Why did you just appear out of Narnia? Like, where did you come from? Pepega. Yeah, it's like, he YOLOs forward, he's gonna do one shot, and then, <laughs> and then that's his game over. Like, oh my goodness. Yep. Woo. Oh, nice from Sheridan. Um, okay. I figured since the waffle wasn't spotted for so long. You know what? We will play a, a game in a rather spicy tank while we wait. I didn't think the waffle was going to be there. He wasn't spotted the whole time and then he just engine boosted out of Narnia. Goodness, man. We need to close that wardrobe so these, so these, uh, so these Pepegas stop, stop exiting Narnia, man. <laughs> if I saw your win rate in a platoon so low. <laughs> no matter what. Okay. <laughs> The gun sound reminds me of Star Trek, yeah. Okay, we will get back to the 50M, but this takes too spicy. I figured if I die pretty quickly, I'm gonna take a first spin. <laughs> you know what take this is, ladies and gentlemen, the most spicy of spicy uh, vehicles. Don't ask how I got it, okay? Just don't ask. <laughs> Booty foo fat stash. Oh, thank you very much. All right, enemy team, I shared an M60 and a PTA. We are going to big brain spot the crossing for starters. Hmm. Enemy's PTA gets spotted up here. I don't think I'm spotted just yet. Just in case, let's put a blind shot into there. This tank is so insanely good. Um, I feel bad that it's practically impossible to get, but dude, when you do get a tank like this, it's a lot of fun. Also, I think I think their Sheridan is just driving around with this turret in reverse. Very big brain indeed. Okay. I think we can go together, guys. Let's go. Oh, 
All right, angle up to this dude. Nice, he can't quite pen me here. The Sheridan's gonna struggle to pen me. Oh yes, DPM goes burr, dude. If there's something that's just insane, it's about having a tank with that, with that, with that crazy high DPM potential. You're dead. Hey, girl. How's your life going, buddy? Oh, hey, oh, hey, M60. Let's just put a quick shell into you. Did we win the game? I, I don't know if we won the game. I think it's still playing. I mean, <laughs> this tank is so memes, dude. Because M60 has no clue what to do. Oh my gosh. Yo, he penned a shot. I'm impressed. All right, let's go yellow their grill. If he doesn't have a spell liner, he's easy collapse. I am about a two and a half shot to him. Oh, never mind. He's gonna die anyways. All right, let's aim shell to him. 300 dealt. Goodness, like I love the 850M, but man, it's hard to beat a tank that has raw 30, 3600 plus DPM. It's almost impossible to beat just how much fun these types of vehicles can be. All right, so all the enemy team have left is their heavy tanks, which should be pretty easy for him if I say so myself. Uh, as long as I don't get myself killed unnecessarily, which has been known to happen sometimes. Spedding along. Ooh, we do spot up the Emil. Interesting. Uh, Sheridan, please don't block my... Okay, you know what? You're probably gonna hit that, which is fine. So yeah, I see I'm a team player. I didn't bump into the Sheridan. Very big brain. Okay. Let's go, boys. Let's get that farm out. Our 50B does get annihilated here, sadly. Hero, Mr. 50B. The good news is... Oh, you know what? Sheridan, if you want to full send it, be my guest. Be my guest, buddy. We're gonna go deal with the 57 now. All right, one shell into his tracks. So I'm not quite able to defend that one. We're going to pull back from this dude. DPM go burr. Another track shot. This tank has a pretty small profile, so I think I can side hug this dude pretty easily here. Oh, no. He killed my driver. Isn't that unfortunate? I'm going to make sure my rear is safe for now. Very good. Speed, 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 speed. Oh, okay. Oh, sure it didn't. Did you bump? Are you the one that bumped into me? Easy. Gosh, this tank is insane. <laughs> what did Cloudy do? Go take off your cap. I want to see your haul. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> is that like what? 4K? 4,500. Easy. Yo, we won. Let's go. I still did 2K. Um, Not bad. The waffle is there, man. MCM, uh, MCM division. Totally caught me off guard there. RIP to the average though. We did drop to 4,011. But we're still holding a solid 80 plus percent in the 30 games, 4K average. I think that's more than enough. Good stats for, for my liking. Dang, Fantasy has, ah, Kevin. We do not speak of such things. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Fantas, uh, your W8 is insane, is it? 4,991. Oh, I guess it is. Yeah, there you have it. I don't really care about W and A. So fatness 7k damage on any tank for a $25 dono. <gasps> okay, at the end of the stream, once once I've done two and a half or, or so hours of E50M gameplay, challenge accepted. Hello, Yoi Poo. What a quick show to you. Alright, so we know that they have a wild yo over here. Someone else is capping on the inside. 50 TP. Ooh, okay, I see how it is. Alright. We're gonna act like we're backing up a little bit here. Alright, come on. Where are those TDs at? TDs aren't here. Oh, there's the yell. We're gonna take one from him, maybe. Nice, one ricochet. I'm act like I'm backing up here. Hopefully we can bait him into, into staying out to try and shoot at me. Okay, yo's just clipped out. Let's go, boys. I think we gotta be quite aggressive here. It looks like the enemy team is mega split up. And so this yo and, and his homie, they need to die as quickly as possible. So, yo should be just about reloaded in about 10 seconds. In about five seconds or so, I mean. Um, boom, quick shot on make him a one shot. Maybe I can pick up a quick, 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 quick kill shot onto this, onto this fool. He is running away as quickly as possible. Nice little kill shot onto him. Very cool. Uh, where's the 4005? Okay, 4005 and 268 are both back here. 50 TP is in our spawn. I'm gonna go back for the 50 TP. Hopefully we can deal with him pretty okay. Because he's, he's getting shot by the VK72, I think. So, 50 TP is over here. I'm over here to deal with him. All right, one quick shot to his Putimus Maximus. Very nice. 50 TP being a little aggro. Same with Mr. 268 here, being quite aggro as well. Can't quite shoot him just yet. There's the 907. 
Oh man, their whole team is just yellowing our poor VK. Our poor, poor VK here. I'm gonna focus the 907 out because he is the faster of the two. I'd rather kill their med over their heavies right now because heavies I can always outplay with mobility. Oh, you know what? It's game over. It's game over for the enemy team. It, it straight up is game over for them, isn't it? Yeah, there's not really much for the enemy team to do here. Oh my gosh, guys, are you, are you not gonna shoot the, um... They're, they're actually not shooting. I'm impressed. They're actually not shooting the, uh, the 4005. Waffenträger could really use your assistance right about now, buddy. Oh my gosh, Waffenträger, Waffenträger. Track them one more time, please. Ingo up, let's go. I have DPM over the 907 here. So it really can't do much to me. Come on, Waffle, just keep running away. Good man, Waffle, good man. There we go. 268 can YOLO for me all he wants. It's not gonna make too much of a difference in the end. Although the 4005 just might kill me here. Okay. Hello, tracking shots. Oh, get baited, get baited. Also, you got baited. Easy. All right, I should have reload because the 268 DPM got nerfed. Bop, 330 into this dude. This dude having a very bad day, to say the least. Easy. Let's go. Okay. That 4005. Dude, our E100 does not doing a good job killing our 4005. He was not doing a good job there. But we got some pretty decent damage out. I'll take that. Very happy. <laughs> all right. 4.7K. Not too shabby at all. I think going heavy side definitely was the play. I had a feeling with that lineup, they were going to yellow med side. And I don't like getting yellowed, so I tried to avoid med side at all costs. <laughs> All right, uh, that'll teach you to be compassionate. <laughs> huh, Kevin? I found it's easy way to rack the, that 7k damage is to raid a training room. Big brain. Well, let's see if I can do it in the E50M first. If I can't, no, no, no sweat. Okay, I do have the eyes for a concept coming for support, so I'm gonna be pretty aggro over here. Hopefully I can, hopefully their lights don't take the corner. Okay, I'm spotted by a light, that's for sure. One of the lights going corner. Try to aim for a track shot, but it's he's just going way too speddy. He was way too much sped on his tank there. Oh wow, interesting. 183 over here. Really? Wow, so the Yag shoots heat at my side of my turret. Wait, where was he? Okay, he must have been slightly to the right there. Not super worried. Oh my goodness. Their 4005 is yellowing dunes. Is what is this? The 405 and 183 are actually yellowing into the dunes here. This is very, very bizarre. But not all that. Not all that bad, as long as some of the heavies go into the corner to watch our left-hand side here. All right, yeah, that bat chat's what I was worried about. Let's put a shot to the bat chat. Oh no, please don't, please don't AP pen my turret here. All right, let's back up from the 4005 before he gets any more bright ideas. Okay, he still has one more shot on the mag. Let's put another shell into him. Nice. Ooh, he takes 700 to the face. Very cool, very cool. Enemy IS-4 is starting to pressure the outside just a little bit here. Let's get ready to start shooting at him. All right, maybe a heat to the side here. Very good. We are safe for now. That's where the Yag was. Okay. We are still safe. We know where the Yagaru is. We know where the Bashathion is. 405 is sitting back here. If I get caught out by him, then that's not good. So let's just take it easy for now. My teammates seem to be doing a really good job on the outside. Um, Bashathion ran away. It seems the 405 is by himself if he's still in the middle here. I'm gonna see if there's something I can real quickly do against this 183 here. Okay, I need to pay attention to what the Jaeger is doing. If the Jaeger is looking, then I can't stay here. All right, he's not looking. Oh man, their their ISM is being quite aggro. Hopefully, the 405 doesn't flank us. Sorry, concept. I'll take the next shot from the IS4. Oh no, actually, psych. I'm not taking the next one. Okay, okay, okay. Please high roll. Bro, 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 bro. Bro, 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 concept. Concept, shoot him. Concept, shoot him. Concept. Oh my gosh, concept. You know we would have won this. This one versus two engagement if you had just pulled forward and shot him when he was shooting me. I took all those shots for our concept. This is what you get for saving your teammates, I swear. Dude, concept, he's not even aiming for you. I made him a one shot. <laughs> like, come on. Oh, man. We, we should be able to win this, I think. Um... Our concept kind of threw. Oh my gosh. Watch him get max rolled. Oh my goodness. Ooh, 1300 clip. You must have bounced a shell. 
Oh, that concept, man. I don't understand. Why are you hiding behind me and not even shooting? Like, the 405 shooting me. <laughs> this is what I get for trying to protect my allies, I swear. It always bites me back. It always bites me back. <laughs> I pull forward to cover him. And then, um, he provides zero assistance. <laughs> Yo, you get him, 405. Oh, yeah, you get those ricochets, boy. Okay. Okay, hit that third. Oh, man. It's going to take these dudes forever. Okay, we're, we're jumping back in the comp fans before we game. We're just going to jump back in the comp fans while we wait. Never save a teammate in pubs. Dude, for real. I could have just dipped on that flank and gone and farmed out the mid, uh, which is what I was thinking of doing. But, oh, well. Especially a dude named... <laughs> Зачем тебе есть? Привет, а? Привет. Зачем? Всем. Fanus, what did you get 50T on a main account? It is a secret. This is, uh, this is... I am deep down a very big gambler, guys. I have a gambling addiction on what blitz, and I spend thousands of dollars every day. And I got the 50 TP alas. <laughs> Should I get the shark? Never played it, can't say. <laughs> I'm clear. It's the Pepega concept. Oh, is it? Where? Oh, no, he's not in my game. Okay, guys. So I, I guess we're just trolling people on the 50 TP while we wait. Let's go. Um, this tank I do like more than the E50 M just because its gun is, its DPM combo is insane. But its armor definitely isn't. Um, also, nice team. Nice team, dude. They're all just wandering into Narnia once again. Both of our lights. All of our light things just dipped out on me. For, like, no reason at all. I get baited in shooting my tracks. Like, I, lo I love my teammates so much, man. <laughs> we have a 1 2 1, a Sheridan, a Bat Shot. We have me. Um, 2 and 5 e, Please do not block. Well, my whole team just went town. I hate town maps so much. Especially when your lights want to be Pepegas and sit in a town instead of going hold down in, in a, do a Dunes environment. There's not really much I can do about that. At least, uh, at least the Chieftain and 2 and 5 b knew I was up and tried to assist, but they weren't enough to make up for the lack of teammates. Oh, please don't be looking. Yoink. Very good. Oh, he gets he gets nuked. Okay. I guess I won't be farming a ton just yet. I gotta take it easy for now. You know, our Chieftain and 2 and 5 b are actually doing a pretty alright job over here. There's a chance we might be able to pull this off. Alright. Sure. Wait, did he pen the front of my turret from there? Hello? Getting scammed by RNG. Okay, that 422 has a has a bit of a thing for me. I can't do anything. This is the issue when your when your team just wants to YOLO into a town with light tanks where they can do absolutely nothing. Oh man, who whoever saw this result coming, guys? I yeah, no no one ever saw this coming. All right, let's put a quick shell towards the E50M here. Nice, making him a two shot. But the game's already over. I mean, I mean, what else is there for me to do? It's it's over. It's all over. Oh sure, he hits that. It's all over. Pepega number one, Pepega number two, and E100 just wandered around an enemy spawn all game. Yeah, we're, we're not we're not winning at all. Why on earth would you take your light tanks? No, we lost a 50M game as well. What map was this on? No way you lost. You didn't even kill the IS-4 or the YAG. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is it that time of day? Oh no, where the teams go sicko mode. Ay ay ay. Calm down, Cloudy. <laughs> Alright, PG Cloudy. Alright. Sounds like he's just another stream. Huh? Who? Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, finally. Okay. Decent map. Let's go. Hopefully our teams can get a little bit more rational soon. That last game, like, like the Conf Fanzer 50T is really good, but it's not a town tank. Like, it's not built to play in towns, and that's why that game was just awful all around. I don't know why the Bash Hat Sheridan decided, like, I can understand the E100 wanted to be or something, but, like, we could have held Medside pretty easily if we'd all have gone together. We had a Chieftain 2 and 5B there. The only problem is I was completely by myself versus all of them, which obviously didn't end too well for me. Let's put a quick shell into this 
Gorilla 15. I don't think the gorilla can spot me from back there. Interesting. Okay, we are on the winning spawn for this map. The enemy TD is already in clapped, so we can just start pushing forward a little bit. The concept will spot me up, which might tell he's a little bit distracted. That way he doesn't have time to turn his turret towards me. And bop, shot into the side of his turret. Nice, 370. Ah, yes. I will admit, D50M is definitely a little nice when it comes to having that armor. Combat's armor was definitely not holding up so well last game. All right, let's pull another shot into this dude. Very cool. We already have complete control of the enemy spawn here. We hit those. We don't hit those. I, I suck. Um, well, this is a rather bizarre situation. The entirety of the enemy team has gone into the town. Well, I say come back. 1183 is still wandering in Narnia. Let's put a shot into him. All right, Progetto might have spotted me up through here or not. Let's get ready to shoot the Progetto. Give me that drive wheel. Boom. Very clean. Jetto taking a couple of shells there. Very cool. Very cool. Let's put another shell to him. Boom. Easy farm. Okay, we've done 2k damage so far. I want more damage this game. The 183s and grills are definitely not going to be it, Chief. And I think the concept's going to die pretty fast. But I guess I can just send it on the concept. Why not? All right, let's hit the the engine deck goes in this tank. 377. Very cool. Very very cool. All right, concept is just getting ratted on. R.I.P. to our man's. Jetto trying to shoot at me. Okay. All right, Type 71, Chieftain, they're both all over here. Oh man, I was aiming for that weak spot, maybe? Not quite. I need to wait for that second one, he threw the die, and then I can just full send it. I'm just waiting for him to, to, to die somewhere. Okay, surely the Chieftain pulls forward, maybe? Not quite, okay. The other one, he threw, must just be chilling at the entrance of town somewhere, right? Let's put a quick shot onto this man, it's very nice. Dang, where'd that sneaky one, he threw go to? Oh, there he is. Wait, he didn't bop our tortoise because he wants to bop me instead. That's cute. Okay, the game's already over. May as well just keep farming out. Oh my goodness. This 183 is rather lucky. Oh my goodness. What is this 183 thinking? Blood type, back up. Back up, boy. Oh my goodness. That type 70 whatever profile go burr. Okay. Well, that game was fast. Oh my goodness, man. I d Why did the 183... Nuke the badger that was side on to him and not even looking. I do not know. <laughs> I'm very big confusion what he was thinking. Like, dude, you had the entire side of a badger and you refused to shoot him. And well, that, that way I had to play extra passive. This is so sad. <gasps> this is so sad. Let's see what type of allies I had. Chieftain gives me a thumbs down. Chieftain, you should have ran out too. I still did second the top that game. One to one's up theoretically at fifty percent, forty six percent bash shot on. We had a Sheridan apparently. I don't, I don't even remember him being in that game. That game was just awful. <laughs> Wait, I played. Uh? <laughs> All I said is give me, is give me a beer. <laughs> go to your local, uh, go to your local gas station, my dude. <laughs> Bro, this, bro, that sneaky 183 is my clan leader. Lewis, dig it! <laughs> Tell your clan leader to 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 shoot badgers in the side when he gets the chance. It's big brain. Okay, I gotta be a little bit careful here. Um, the enemy team do have a, not only a lot of mediums and lights, they also have some some pretty strong heavies that could come this way. And so if don't get spotted on C in the next like 30 seconds, I'm dipping out through the mid. Okay, I'm gonna wait till I'm unspotted. Should be unspotted right about now. And as predicted, their teammates are over here. Let's put a quick shell towards their grill. We ricochet, unfortunately, but I can now push down below these dudes at least. Very nice. Let's start putting their 50B and stuff into a crossfire. Shell into the grill. Sure you hit that. Oh my goodness. Like, sure you just has the accuracy to hit that. Nice, nice Amex 50B, brother. Okay. The 5A can't really do a whole lot to me. Let's put a shell into his rear. Guess I'll keep holding the dunes right side. Let's see if we can put a shell into this Gorilla 15. Can't quite shoot the grill, but maybe the 5A. Nope, not quite either of them. Oh, that's an SD1. Okay, SD1 ricochets a shell. We got to kill the grill in the AMX, but my allies aren't really doing much here to help out with that. I'm going to see if I can push the grill. I know it's risky with that AMX 50B, but I got to do something about the grill. He's just sitting here for free for way too long. No camo, probably has no spawn liner. Easy. Okay, one shot to that grill. Get ready to pop a second shell to him. Now one shot. My teammates are pretty much just dying left, right, and center here.
All right, the Angus 3 wants me for some reason. Put one shell into him here. Kill shot maybe if I don't get unlucky. Nice. All right, that could have been worse. I had to clear him out because we had no one spotting up the right side anymore. So I was going to get crossfired if I didn't do something. So far, we've played this game pretty, pretty perfectly, I would say. Losing a few hit points more than I should have is a bit unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. Oh, do I have a gun depression to kill this dude? Never mind. There's the 1 2 1. There's the 5A. There's the Bash Shot the On. There's the ST1 here. Oh, please don't pen those. Nice, he doesn't. Okay, the ST1 seems a bit. A bit lost in the source, so let's put a quick shot to his side, pull back, very cool. I believe that's their whole team spotted up, right? ST1, 1, 2, 1. We know the bat chat's floating around behind. I'm gonna push up a little bit, haul down on the right side here. Just constantly trying to create angles to deal with their tanks without like putting myself super aggressively into any kind of crossfire. All right, I'm gonna pop the adrenaline now. Hopefully we can kill this ST1. ST1 goes down, very good. Nice shot to this dude. 5A is kind of YOLOing, which is perfect for me. Uh, bash shot to yawn. Give me the roof of that hatch. Boom. Nice hatch shot for days. WZ gets, gets, uh, gets beaten a little bit there. And, oh. Oh, yes. That was worth. Oh, yes. Got that ram. Get those rams. Get those rams for days, brother. And the bash shot to yawn's next. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> nice! Nice! We got some good damage out. Have you seen Fatness's first video? <laughs> spam, spam, spam. <gasps> Takes with the spam! Unacceptable! <laughs> Thank you very much for 300 likes, by the way, guys. Cool! We got 5k out. Whew, finally a good game. Ah, I feel better. Definitely made the right play there, though. Call pulling out through the mid of dunes. Alright, 34 games, 4k, 82%. Still running solid in the stat department. I'll take it. I'll take it. I can keep playing the 54 a little longer for sure. Mm. I need I need my 7k damage. I want my $25. Darn it. <laughs> All 400 damage from a 30 kilometer ram. I know, dude. That poor one and got bonked super hard. All right. Uh, mines. Everyone's favorite map. We're on the bad spawn. They also have a 121 VK72 triple TDs. Now, in terms of what can take the hill, um, maybe not the best. I'm not going to go for it. The D15 is fast, but it's a little sluggish accelerating up hills. I don't want to get, like, trapped in the open and just, like, annihilated right off the bat. We can see they have TDs crossing to the right. That's based off of those broken trees. Play quick shelters the Yag. Jaeger, we're getting just a little bit lucky there that that shot somehow missed him. And we do have this Type 68 over here. I'm going to act like I'm distracted to bait him to start pulling forward a little bit more. Aim for that hat shot. Only his hatch is impervious to me. All right. Type's not quite paying attention. Boom. 340 into him. Very nice. Leo also did get dunked on pretty hardcore here. All right. This dude just fired. Um, there's the Jaeger Ruru. I'm sure they have a TD there. Let's take a blind shot just in case. Okay. It was the grill. I was hoping it was the 405, not the grill, but not the end of the world. Uh, 405. Give me a shot. Nope. The Jaeger just wants to sit there and stare at me all day. Isn't that cute? Huh. All right, I don't think he can pen this. Nice, another shot to the Jaeger here. We can just keep big chilling in the back a little bit. Jaeger is getting farmed out. Let's put another shell into him. Nice. This is our quintessential mines gameplay, isn't it great, guys? Should have shot the right side of his hatch, but oh well. No way you hit that, buddy. Bruh. All right, PTA, let's play a game. Oh, uh, what? Sure, he hits the hatch perfectly. I'm getting scammed, brothers. Let's track the girl in the open, very nice. Okay, I think he just fired. Put a quick shot to this dude, very nice. I mean, this is just chill mines farm in a nutshell, man. Nothing too, too exceptional going on right now. We just sit back relaxing. I need to wait for that grill to shoot again before I can do much. And all oh, the one two ones on my right. Rat one two one. I don't know what this one two one is doing over here, but uh, I can't do much about it myself. All right, put it forward. Come on, I dare you. Do it, buddy. I know you want to. Look at him. He's so eager. T 
We actually spot him up. Spotted him up. Let's go. Oh, the girl can't shoot me anymore. Cool. I can start working on this type then. There is a 405 in their spawn. Oh, what? Das Bosvetun. Okay, so I didn't pen him in the side. That's ridiculous, right? I mean, it's 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 a 405. What is this nonsense? No way! Dude, so lucky with the hat shots. Okay, is my team actually throwing now? No. Oh, oh, you're dead. Okay, kill the girl, kill the girl, kill the girl. You, you hit those. Oh, I like how we can't even pen the Yo's humongous hatch when he barely hits the 50 abs, bruh. Um, oh, 183 is being very aggro. This is not smart, 183. You hit those. Oh! Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Rip my 4K average this game. Mine's is a rap map like this, especially when they have triple TDs just sitting back staring at you all game. You can't do much. Oh, man, the VK is still full HP. There was so much potential farm. Oh, try to aim for those track shots, I see. Aiming for those track shots, I see, but not penning any of them. 183, you probably should rotate back to the hill to help the 57. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, man's, man's game bopped. Okay, this is going to take them way, way too long. Eh, 35 games in the E50M for about two and a half hours worth of gameplay is not bad. I, don't, I won't end it there, but let's take the Le Leopard 1 out for a spin. This tank is bussin'. If hey, Elmi, how's it going? Don't mind if I'm playing some jazz in chat. <laughs> oh my gosh, thanks. Thanks with the spam. Take it easy, brother. Take it easy. Don't go for monkey mode. Okay. Um, Fatness fake teeth are showing. Hey. Be nice to my teeth. Okay. Um, also, enemy team have double medium lights, and I have none that support me. Leo go. I need to do a Leo stream sometime, dude. This tank is so insane. I mean, I mean, the Leo has always been insane. But just think of it as insane as it is right now, but even better. It's so good right now. Definitely got to get out and do some Leo streams sometime, dude. Um, only problem, though. It's kind of the fact that my whole team wants to go town, and I can't do anything about that. So let's see who I can spot up first. Okay. I should be unspotted for now. No broken walls. No broken walls confirmed. We're going to spot up their TDs, or we're just going to bop some TDs from behind. At least in theory, that's how things work. Yo, their team cleared out fast. Their team cleared out fast. Oh, wow. There's the 183. So, the Leopard 1, with its gunpowder, is just the ultimate Giga Chad. All right. Firstly, we're going to put the main aftermath on. That way, I don't mess up my webcam. All right. Let's see. I know they probably have a 268 around here somewhere. Just kind of chilling, waiting for me to get spotted up. Should be unspotted for now. Um, do have ready cow, but I don't want to waste it until I can guarantee like three consecutive pending shots. Okay, we're good now. Boom, let's put a shot into this dude. 399. Like now is probably a good time to use that ready cow. Pick up a kill here. We do take... So their 405 is just sitting back there. That's cute. Oh, this is... Th dude, why am I getting to such, such rat games in towns every time I'm in a lightly armored medium tank? Kind of annoying. Okay, what are the odds that their 405 is now reloading his magazine? It's the kind of the logical thing for them to do, considering. Oh, there he is. Is he unable to spot me from here? Huh. Nice camo rating, buddy. Bop. <laughs> My camo's better than yours. <laughs> All right. So this is a great experience. <laughs> yes, to yes to Leo Street. Do it fast, easy master. Thank you, Aish. All right, we'll have to do a Leo stream then. Confirmed. There is, there is no way around it. 45 fires once. 45 fires once. Oh my gosh, I can't do anything. I actually can't do anything this game, dude. This is why holding town sucks versus just holding rails. I've been holding dunes. I don't know why players are obsessed with going into the town. But all you have to do is just big brain. I'm going to make a risky play because this game is not progressing at all. Um, I'm going to start pushing into the ditch here. Risky plays sometimes pay off. The enemy Leopard 1 being a little bit aggressive over here. Maybe a little too aggressive. He does take a shot. 1-2-1 one, 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 also shooting in at me. Oh, Leo 1 missing his opportunity to shoot me there. And this this 113 really doesn't have the best of... Sh okay, apparently he has shots from there. I've never seen a player really take that position before. 
Fast Shot Dion is now YOLOing in. The, the whole, uh, the, the whole fest of vehicles is determined to YOLO me here. It's one of the shots of the Bat Chat. Oh, yes, this Alpha is so nice, dude. All right, Bat Shot Dion losing all of his HP for that push there. Hmm. Okay, managed to bait this dude to shoot at me once. Um, here's the issue, though. I didn't want my whole team to pop up over here because now no one's going to spot up our spawn. Now no one's spotting up their spawn as well. Oh my gosh, my teammates are just making mistake after mistake after mistake here. Oh, that Leo's lucky. Okay. So we're avoiding the Leo for now. I'm gonna take back our, our spawn control. Just a little bit here. They still have a concept. I don't know if he rotated out or not. Let's see if I can play the entrance of rails here. Bopping their Leo just to show them who's the better Leo 1 player. Okay. Um... 405 still lost. Let's go. Is that their 268? Yes, it is. Let's pull back before he gets shot. He does take a blind shot. Boom. 336. Very cool. The concept has pulled back to a safe position somewhere. Okay. I think I can make a far right ditch push now. There we go. We know where the 268. We know where the 405, 268 are. 113 as well. The concept is holding back just a little bit for now. Here's a good opportunity. 405's in the open. HE, very good. We do unfortunately take a shell from their concept there. But we should be good to find out the 405. Nice little max roll. Pop that reticle calibration just to guarantee every shot hits here. Nice, pick up a little kill on this dude. Very cool. I think we played this game really well considering how un unfavorable, un unfavorable of a situation we were in. Let's track him. Stank's tracking abilities are insane. Tuesday shoots again. We'll track him one more time, maybe. By the shell. 4.6k damage has been dealt so far. Alright, 113 in the open. Oh, please don't HE me. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we'll get safe from the 268 for now. 113 just fired. Let's go. He's up on a ridge. Upper plate. Boom. 5.3k damage. Gosh, I love the Leo one. It's all about the gun, man. It's all about the gun. This tank's gun is just crazy good. <laughs> First class. That was a lot of work, that game. I think we made all the right rotations. Oh my gosh. Dude, their 113 farmed 7.2k damage that game. Our heavies, like our VK did, did one shot. Our Yang did one shot. ISO did three. Like our heavies didn't do that much. Me, me and that 113 both clutched up for our teams really hardcore there. Unfortunately his, for him, his team was just a little bit worse in the end than mine. Yeah, let's go. We won. Okay, okay. We, we can't leave it off in a bad game with the E50M though. We got to get some better E50M gameplay in here. What do you think about the new gun sounds in the state in the state of the E50M? E50M is very fuego right now. Very much do like. Uh, new gun sounds, overall, I approve. Although I do personally think that uh, the medium, that they should be a little bit more bassy and just be a little louder when you're, like, shooting outside the tank. Like, when you're no-scoping, there should be a little bit more of a just kind of boom sound, you know? For the likes, the fattest will show his prosthetic chin. You heard the man, guys! Smash that like button. Dude, just appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, they have a... Ooh, Confanzer 50T. A Minotauro. Um, yeah, this isn't going to be very good for us if I if I YOLO. I'm going to take it easy for now. All right, back to the E50M because that last game wasn't very saucy. and We don't want to leave it off in a game like that. And then I shall do my best to see if we can achieve the 7K. I want, I want CJ's $25 donation. So far, no one's been spotted up yet. Interestingly. Uh, they could be going town. Okay, 50 TVs in the mid. Should I push across or not? That's my question. Come on, pull for just a, 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 a hair more. Oh, nice. We spot an Amex 30 of Proto. Get one clean shell into him. He's kind of pausing in the open to shoot at me here, so I should be able to hit a second shell into him. Easy claps. Um, Amex 30 Proto seems to be a bit, a bit, a bit Narnia-fied right now. He's just... Oh, dear. The Minotauro just got wrecked for all of his HP. Oh, I didn't realize Triari had testing. Interesting. All right. Well, I'm just gonna... I guess I'm just gonna go kill this dude. I mean, there's not a whole lot for me to do. May as well. Sorry to do you like this, AMX. Hey, the good news is you did pen a shell into me, though. Aren't you proud of yourself, son? Yes, ricochet off me, and you're dead. 
That's all I wanted to do. Have a nice day. But I mean, if you're going to keep ricocheting, you may as well. Cool. Quick shot to the Kampfpanzer here. Kampfpanzer being forced back a little bit. Let's see if we pick up a kill shot on this man so real quick. I'd rather pick up a kill on him, even if I have to take a shot. All right. Boom. Oh, dear. The Kampfpanzer are getting nuked for most of his HP there. Not looking very good for our mans. Okay. Let's see. Mr. Gorilla15, do you, would you like to come out and play? Boom. One shell to the grill. Very nice. Oh, this isn't really a farm fest. Uh, their team is just getting slapped. So, time to YOLO, guys. And try not to get 183'd in the process. I hope you're ready to get bopped, my dude. Psych. <laughs> Psych. Psych. Don't want to get 183. Okay, we're good. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Give me that, give me that last shot of damage in. Boy, let's go. We should get about 4k out. Not quite the spiciest of games, but we did get decent farm in the end. Not bad. Good old E50M go burr. <laughs> Thanks, it'd be sus. <laughs> Forty-one hundred damage down. All right, all right, not bad. Ooh. Uh, if I get like one five K game, I'll be four K for the sesh, which would make me very happy. It might be worth trying. We shall see. We shall see. <laughs> Dang, stop being so sus. This is an order. <laughs> Thank you. Vanish, can you please show me how you position your hands when you play? I mean, I can do the face. I can do the hand cam. I just have to tilt this down. It's not going to be at the best angle for y'all, but if you want to see, this is this is how I, this is what it looks like when I play. Let me just move my stuff out of the way. So if you're interested, hand cam, fanny's hand cam. I, the iPad I don't usually play at this angle, so I would be warned before a game if you're interested in seeing. This is what a 50% claw looks like. Okay. Bail out. Bail out. Let's go, bash out the yawn. We can't commit here. Our whole team is wandering to Narnia. This is a bad idea. Do, 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 do. Oof. Bouncing up my booty cheeks. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, that dude's totally dead, by the way. There's not really much he can do. So, my team wanted to go uh, town for some weird reason. Now, there's enemy team do have an E5 over here. He should be completely isolated, so I'm just going to tell them to attack the E5, because... Like it would make it wouldn't make sense to not attack him here in this situation. So let's just pull away from him. I'm gonna start flanking this E5 immediately. Alright. And put quick shell into this man's. Alright, prepare to be reverse face hogged, my dude. Alright. Quick shell into this dude. Now the E5, if he is of course running calibrated heat, he'll be able to pen me super easily here. But if he's not, he'll struggle to pen me. As you can see, Mr. E5 is indeed struggling. Oh no, now one of the meds is shooting me from behind though. I hope it's not their progetto. Okay, E5 getting getting scammed out of position here. What on earth is shooting me? Dude, how does it take my team 10 trillion years to push in and support me here? I don't know what on earth was shooting me. I gotta try and run away from this though. Oh my goodness, it is the E50M. So the E50M came all the way back for me. That's adorable. Okay. I don't know why my allies took so long to help us push this side, but, you know, at least we did we did go through, we did clutch up in the end. Bash Option's in the open for now. Let's put a quick shot to him. Okay, he's not quite able to spot me up just yet. So put another shell towards, oh, he just stopped in the open. Perfect timing. All right, Bash Option. Show us what you made of, Chief. No spawn liner, but RNG said no. You ain't pinning those, brother. All right. I don't know what my team's doing, but I'm a one-shot, so I can't do much here. All right, please pen. Oh my goodness, dude. But the gun hates me. It's like, no, you're not getting 4K out in this tank. Wow, what a surprise. Our whole team wandered off into the dunes and, and I mean, into the middle of the factory and lost. Didn't see that coming.
This team was just straight up garbage. Firstly, how did it take them so long to help me on the E5? And I'm looking where they all died. They all just died at the entrance of factory. I don't know why players get baited into the factory. The factory is definitely a, a no-go. We should all donate to Vanis. Let him, like, told during camera angles around his room. No? <laughs> oh, man. That team was too bad. Okay. That's enough E50M for now. That's... That was this 37... Almost 40 games in E50M. I think we all can see it's a great tank, but... After I get bored of playing a tank, it, um, and I can only play like 20 games in a tank before I get bored of it, it, generally speaking, my performance will drop. So, what should we take out now, guys? Because I don't want to end the stream just yet. That wasn't the best streak to end. You know, let's go take the Chad Yeageru for a spin, dude. I don't remember the last time I played the Chad Yeageru on stream. Fatness leg cam. I got you right here, but you can't see them. Also, do you, okay. Do you guys prefer the face cam or the or the uh, or the playing cam? I just know that it's weirder for me to play with my iPad tilted at the angle. <laughs> play gravity, oh man! How do you get cop fans here? Magic. <laughs> play gravity. Gravity's funner in a platoon. Maybe not so much solo. Oh, the juicy cheeks cam. Oh. Tanks with this sixty-nine, ninety-nine dollar donation. Thank you so much, Tanks. Really do appreciate juicy it. Juicy cheeks cam. You got it right here, buddy. You got it right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Uh, I just felt like memeing in the Yag for a game because the Yag's a Chad. So let's do it. We're spotting up the mid, ladies and gentlemen. We have spotted no one. Oh, wild standard B gets spotted. Yoink. Oh, the gun sound. Oh, the gun sound of the Yag. Hold up. I got to turn that audio up, man. That Yag gun sound is too hot. My game audio is going up. Okay, it's at 57 right now. Let's, let's jack it up to 60. They're too spicy. This is just to annoy you. So, what do you think about the new tank sounds? <laughs> LOL. Well, I think you just got my opinion on the on the Yeageru sound, buddy. Oh, yes. My, er my ears are being serenaded by the beauty of the Jaeger's gun. Watch this, boys. Oh, there's a slight delay, isn't there? I can't even, I can't hear anything because I put my own end up max volume. Bro, look at this game. I'm big brain. I'm just a massive brain Jaeger player, okay? I mean, come on, that sounds really spicy. There's no deny get. Also, this, this rat 71 wants a piece of me, which is adorable. <laughs> Typical, typical rat 71 behavior. Okay. Let's see, let's see. I guess I can just pull back. There's no need for me to face a rat 71 here. Let's just pull it back a little bit. But joke's on you. Where did he hit? Oh, he shot heat. He just high rolled. Goodness, though, this tank sounds spicy. Okay, yes, let's go. Let's go, Progetto. Let's go. I'll come with you, homie. Oh, he got cold feet last second, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, come on, Amarok, please. Oof. Oof, this is so saucy. I, I, I do like these sounds, bro. <laughs> I want that camo. Yeah, dude, it's, it's the uh, 5k rating camo that you get nowadays, so totally recommend if you can get it. Go for it. Okay, Rat71. You may think you are invincible, but you are not. This is only just the beginning. Get bombed, get bombed, get bombed. I love ratting on Type 71s, because I hate Type 71s. Let's go. Okay. Does this mouse have shots on me? Not really. I really can't do much here. Oh, wait, wait, watch. We, we hit these. Oh, what? Bro, 183. Are you going to keep the IS-4 down, or are you just going to let him shoot me for free? Aye, aye, aye. We still hit these. Oh, man, the Yag sounds juicy. This is great. As, as a Yag enthusiast, I, I approve of these gun sounds for the Jaegeru. Okay. No holding back now, guys. We gotta risk it for the biscuit. You're dead. I didn't want to waste my max real HE on this dude, but I knew getting the kill was important. Oh my gosh, IS4, you're such a rat. Okay. <laughs> such a such a what? Okay. Hopefully the 183 can keep him down. And you don't messed up. 890 with HE. Bro, 
Bro, I have like 11, I have like 1100 HE alpha. That's such a low roll. No, I got taken down there. Okay, I think my team's gonna lose. We got 5k out. I did my best, considering the situation I was in, which honestly wasn't all that pleasant. Um, but I think my team's gonna lose this, because they're... Well, that was their only grill. And this dude is gonna get bombed. Yeah. Oof, 183 sounds pretty spicy too. But how does the Vindicator sound? Uh, I don't know. I do not play Vindicator. Oh. <laughs> What does a sniper mode shot sound like? I will show you later. I don't think I really showed you a sniper mode sound. Oof. The team was not Fuego, but the Jaegeru. The, the Jaeger is a Chad. He does what he wants, when he wants, how he wants. The low roll. I know, dude. The low roll on the HG. Like, I know we have a spawn liner, but I still sort of done like around 1,000 at least. So we got 5k out. We had a, a group of players that didn't do so well. Let's take the Jaegeru out for a game. I'm, I'm just going to play for a little bit of fun right now. 200 HG average damage on the Yag, actually. Okay. Yeah, 1200 HE average, and to roll 800, that's like 400 below the average roll <laughs> with the spall liner on, which only reduces the average roll by, what is it, 20%? So I don't think it should have been 400 less. The girl sounds interesting too, I know. Okay, what are we gonna do? They have lots of heavies. Do we, no, actually, they have lots of mobile heavies. We're going right. Let's go. Yigaru time. Yigaru's such a Chad tank, dude. Flash play tier 5 gravity mode, imagine. The Luru. I know. I mean, I was dead anyways. I shouldn't have let the IS-4 shoot me again. That was where I messed up big time. I thought the 183 was gonna keep him scared. So when I shot the when I shot the type and went to pull in, I was worried about that grill. Oh man, that sounds insane. That sounds so good when you're scoped in. It's just like boom. <laughs> I personally like the new gun sounds. If you didn't realize, I'm a fan of the new gun sounds for the most part. The 100 millimeters, 105 millimeters, eh, they're kind of average, but the juicy guns, those are those are where it's at. Oh no, why did I have to relocate now of all times? This is so sad. Oh. But I'm not really sure what this 50B is doing. It seems to be just full sending it. I'm gonna help the homie out. Let's go, guys. We're no pansy. We don't sit in the back and do nothing all game, brothers. Ladies and gentlemen. We go full aggro with our Yigaru. Campings for pansies. We ain't, we ain't no pansy. Alright. Oh, oh. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hello there, little one. I hope you are ready. To pull back right into Chatamus Maximus Yigaru's heat shell. Goodness, that's loud. I have my audio turned up so much to listen to these sounds. Ow. That AB team is so done for. Oh my dude, this is um, this is not a very big rate engagement. Dude, they're t like two of their heavies are just wandering in Narnia. This is no farm to be had. Oh, the K91 got destroyed by the 4005. Oh my. So it was the IS-7. Fuego Gomez Diaz over here. That's um, that shot me earlier. Okay. Way go. Get ready, boy. I've come. I'm coming to deal with you, laddie. <laughs> eh, this was not a good farm game. So is the way of what blitz, but still. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, give me, give me damn rack, please. Oof. 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 Got lit up. Got lit up, all right. Average ball HE roll on the Yag is like 900. Is it? Now they need to improve the sound when a tank explodes. A big bass boom should be nice. Yeah, that's the one thing. Like, Wargaming got the gun sound sounding pretty solid, I will admit. But at the same time, I, I feel like the engine sounds and the explosion sounds um, aren't quite up to date anymore. Right? They, they just aren't quite... They, they, like, I don't know. The engine sounds on what Blitz, in my opinion, sound a little bit... Uh, I don't mind them so much, but they, they, they could sound a little better, I think. And the explosion sounds are okay, but once again, they could improve this too. Bye chat at the mods. See you, Jack. Take care. I'm just, I'm just braining on people in Yag for a little. Because it's fun. I haven't really played the Yag all that much recently, and I, I was able to work up to raiding camouflage on this thing, so. Do you know how much it sucked playing 50 games in the Yeageru and raidings when everyone's sweating with Type 71s back then? Ugh. That was not fun. That was not a very fun experience. I mean, the yeah, ideals with Type 71s, but this was before the armor buff, so you just got 370 heat spammed or whatever through the front every, all day, every day. Oh, let's go, boys. Are we, are we all, all sitting back, or are we full sending it like real lads? Fire, 
Let's go. 93 damage dealt. Teddy V? Is that Teddy V ball? No way. <laughs> Can't beat the Yag's gun, brothers. Can't beat the Yag's gun. Although I did roll 600 or something. Which is kind of unfortunate, considering that that was an AP shell. The chicken thigh says if you- Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Ooh, uh -oh. no! What hell? No, it hit his rear engine deck, and that wasn't angled enough where it should have been a ricochet. I got scammed! I was all ready to be like, yes, we hit those, but no. Actually scammed. Okay, I'm gonna wait for their 4005 to make a play. Ow. And it acts like I'm on reload or something, or I'm trying to pull in or something. Just to bait him into the open and HE. Oh my gosh, 1200 HE max roll, even though we had a spell liner. That's more like it, dude. That's more like it. You wanna poke me again, buddy? That's right, I didn't think so. Okay, I gotta start backing up from here because I'm getting crossfed out by a TI5 or a grill or something along those lines. Oi, 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 oi. What is that? Now that's just nonsense, isn't it? Okay, I'm angled down. I should be good here. Okay, my team's actually getting wrecked. Okay, it was a TI5 that started flanking us. Interesting. Oh, there's the grill. This isn't so good, is it? I gotta keep kind of backing up from here, I think. T's my best option. Oh my gosh, dude. My teammates are, not, are getting annihilated. This is so sad. Okay, baited a shell from this dude. That's cool. Oh man. Why is there gotta be a T95 flanking us now of all times? Well, well this sucks. This game could have actually been pretty good. I I didn't realize my team was just all gonna die so fast though. Um I think the TI5 is flanking me. Oh, he definitely is. Let's angle up real quick. The 405 is temporarily kind of out of this fight. They're gonna win the caps though, that's the problem, they have way too many cap points. We did we did okay. We did okay as a team. Oh I tried my best. <laughs> Looks funny you haven't seen him. American engine deck is super sus. I know man, dude. If I'd only HE that 57, that game could have been a lot better. We did 5k, but dude, I mean our 57 did 300 damage. <laughs> e50 did a little bit. One, two, one, give me a thumbs down, apparently, because I don't know. He did 700 damage. Let's go, boy. You get you get that explanation mark of uh, insanity, bro. Good damage. Clutching for the team there. Also, that was I ever able to get my e50 I'm up to 3k average? That's actually something I haven't checked yet. Um, 3,000. Mission accomplished, actually. That was my main goal. Ooh, okay, okay. Um, what else has a spicy sounding gun? I really wanted to get my 7k damage out so I could get get that donation but um this hasn't this, this i haven't been getting the perfect farm simulator games just yet for that so i think i'll try for a little longer look what my beautiful level 50 chatamus maximus 4005 good spawn on port bay let's make this work let's, let's do this guys let's make this happen i'm a little bit sad i start classes up next week not this upcoming week the week after um and then I'm going to be so busy, I'll be lucky to stream on weekends. Which kind of makes me sad. Hopefully, we might be able to reach 30k subs within a week. We'll see. If I stream, a, if I stream like three or four times this week, we might be able to pull it off. Uh, but I got I to gotta start preparing for my semester too, which is why I've been a little more busy. But we can still make it work. Also, 
we're no pansy. We front line in the 4005 because that's what big brain players do in the 4005. They front line. They go aggressive. They catch enemies off guard. This is the optimal way to farm damage in my current favorite tank in the game. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Don't you don't yolo your 4005s around like crazy aggressive, or else you die. Come on, poke me again, buddy. Okay, th these were bad trades. I don't know why the object 907 is sitting there when you could, we sh probably should be running away. Uh, my primary concern right now is I know we have an IS-7 pulling in kind of behind us. So I want to see if I can do anything about Mr. IS-7. Ooh, there's the IS-7. Okay, IS-7 just fired. Watch this IS-7 go bye-bye. All right, one shot. Two shot. Three shot. Four shot. Enemy armor is hit. Hopefully the Waffenträger pulls, pulls up and assists me a little bit here. Let's go. I mean, the IS-7 just lost all of his HP in a few seconds there. It's kind of insane, isn't it? Oh no, it's the grill. Oh no, you don't grill. What is the grill doing? 752's back, back for the assist. IS-7's back for more. Oh. We now have a TI-2 behind us. I'm, oh, he shot heat. I'm lucky. I'm going to act like I'm loaded and get ready to YOLO him. That way he runs away, maybe. Okay, okay, okay. He's not quite not quite baiting him just, just yet. Okay, okay. Girl, please don't go for me. No! Oh my gosh. Dang it. I was able to traverse at the time. Um... So, you guys gotta kill these off anytime now. We're literally holding four tanks off over in this corner. The whole team just yelled through our spawn there. Oh, man. I still love the 4005, though. 4005 straight up memes. I, I, this was not gonna be a farm game, just judging by how, like, stupidly their team was playing. Just, like, seeing everyone in spawn and then yoloing into our spawn. Like, there's, there's just no way that was gonna be a good farm game. But, it'll still end up being, it was uh, still a decent battle. Let's try the 4005 again. At least we were able to pepeg out the IS-7. After that, I really couldn't do much, sadly. Oh my gosh. Night of seven, if only you'd gone corner, your team might have actually had a chance of winning that. <laughs> then that was a pretty obvious question. What was? Someone's gone by uh, way too fast once again. Summer's gone by way too fast again. Ah, yes, it has. I still did 3K? That was like such a bad game. How did I do 3K almost? Bleh. <laughs> the girl I got butchered and, gr and grilled in 9.1. The grill really turned into a grill. <laughs> that 405 got insane though. I mean, the 405 has always been insane, but I mean, come on, doing doing 16, 1700 damage out so reliably is just crazy. Too many auto loaders. I know, right? We need more single shots in the game, like for real. Okay, the enemy team have Mouse Yag, M4 M Elite, two 405s. That's a very heavy lineup. They'll probably go towards the factory. I'm going to play second line in factory just to help them out. One thing I love about the 4005 is even though it's fat and huge, kind of extra thick, uh, it is actually really fast. Like, it goes 40 kilometers an hour, no problem. And it traverses really well. So you're able to, to get to locations super quickly, which helps a lot when it comes to, like, relocating and stuff. Okay, enemy team have tanks on A? No way. They have to have tanks in C cap, right? Maybe they're all too slow? Wow, I'm impressed. I totally thought their whole team was going to go towards, um, yeah, I thought their whole team was going to go towards the, the factory, but it turns out their whole team is going A. Good. There's a lot of hit points in this game, which makes me happy. It means this is possible for a lot of farm here. If I manage to get to, like, the opposite ridge of where they're at, and then they're just sitting there, we can just mega farm them out. Kind of depends on when the mouse and 405s get spotted up. Okay. M4 M Elise is spotted up in the mid here. That's the mouse. Interesting. I think now's my time to deal with this MLE. Enemy armor is hit. Enemy armor is damaged. Great shot. Sadly, that. Oh my gosh. I got scammed so hard. I should have been able to pen a full magazine into that dude. That sucked, but not the end of the world. Okay. So, we're going to have to deal with the mouse next. Please don't spot me up just yet. We should be able to deal with the mouse pretty easily here. I think I'll save my intro code reload boost. We'll just do single shot mode. All right, where are you at, Massey Boo? Here you are. Okay, that should depend. 
Oh my gosh, the mouse is just evaporating. Goodness, the 4005's gun sounds hot. Oh my. What is the mousy poo doing? Mousy poo, don't you think you should like run away or something? The Batchat's not even gonna kill him. He's going to farm damage. You know what, Bashatheon? I hope the mouse kills you it later on. <laughs> I'm just kidding, by the way. But, I mean, you guys can go. I'm gonna go chase after damage. Our Bashatheon's setting a great example for the team. I wanna, I, I wanna mimic his example. What a sweep game, dude. They had so many hit points. They had so many hit points as a team. And it ended up just being an absolute steamroll. Oh my goodness. There was no damage for me to farm this game. Holy smokes, man. These teams are getting just absolutely dunked on, aren't they? About 60 TP. You're blocking my shots. Okay. Oh, that was fast. Where is LeBobby? I, I haven't seen her today. Uh, at least not not during the stream. So she might not be in the room right now. Bro, what was that? What was that? What was that? Oh, their team was bad. I, I thought they had so many hit points I was going to mega farm. I was so wrong. <laughs> I don't necessarily think I'm going to see if it to be a set A50. I'm a set. I see myself looking at a monster. That's a pretty accurate... Um, Explanation of the 4005, brother. <laughs> I did play the E50M for about two and a half hours beforehand, though. If you're interested in the E50M gameplay, E50M big busting right now. Okay, I am um, gonna see if I can catch anyone off guard. This is a really risky play because my tank is so fat. I'll get spot up instantly. I just want to see if I can spot anyone crossing early. There's their type. There's a 60 TP. Okay. Oh, please tell me. Oh, you're so lucky. Even with that first ricochet, we still put almost 1,300 damage into that poor soul. Bless him. Goodness, dude. The um, 4005's gun sounds really hot when you're internal shooting it. That sounds super nice. I like. I approve. In case he blind shoots, I'm just pre-aim. Oh my gosh, that magazine. <laughs> this tank is this tank is so fun. I love this tank to death, dude. Let's wait for the 60 TP to make a mistake again. Okay, 60 TP just fired. He has about a 15 second reload or so, I believe. I'm starting to get a little aggro. I'm gonna act like I'm backing up here. Hopefully that 60 TP gets baited into the open. We can perma track him because he already used one of his rare pair kits, right? Enemy armor is damaged. Enemy armor is damaged. We've lost the track. We're stuck here. Enemy oh, please don't perma track me in the open. Your rat crawd. I mean, the 60 TP got brained on, but of course he hits my tracks. There, we already dealt 4k damage, like no problem. Easy. Alright, let's see what the Kron does. Fires once. You didn't have more time to load time to load more than one shell, right? Or so I thought. Come on, Kron, you gonna do anything? Or are you just gonna sit there reloading all the game? Enemy armor is hit. Enemy armor is damaged. Oh damaged. my goodness, dude. Gotcha. This gun, man, I'm telling you, this gun is insane! I knew the Kron didn't have more than one shell. If only the enemy team was a little a little better, I could have actually farmed 7k very easily this battle, because I'm already at 5.6. But unfortunately, this this uh, type is going to die really fast here. Enemy armor is, hit. Gotcha. is the TVP getting brained on by the, by the Yag? Maybe if I'm fast enough, I can kill the Yag as well. Let's see. Let's see, we might be able to make this happen, guys. Penetration. 
Damn, I was 150 damage away from 7k that game. No, but it wasn't 7k. I don't get my CG donation. <laughs> I don't think I caught anyone on fire. 6,800 damage. Ace tanker. The gun just said, thank you. I'll let you farm. Very nice game. Very, very nice game. I love the 4005, man. I, I have so many games in this tank already. 1,600 battles. I'm about to overtake the 215B, which I've had for years before 4005. Oh, this tank, man. I'm in love. <clears throat> Didn't get my 7K, though. Unfortunate. Epic blind shots. Easy. The last shot was good. <laughs> New gun sounds of a fan is epic. Voice. <laughs> Equal all men's. Easy. Okay, I don't want to like... I don't. The gun sounds are great, but I don't want it to be like so loud that you guys can't hear anything. So let me just turn down a little bit. Okay. Um, allies are going town. I'm going to go with. Okay. <laughs> ah, I could have had... um. I could have had 7k that game. If I'd only hit one more shot. Like uh, another shot onto one of their tanks that was at the start or something. Okay, we're going to go to the inside of town. Uh, da -da -da -da. There's the 113 at the outside of B. I doubt their team actually headed this direction. So let's see if we can catch them off around A. My tank's a little bit too fat to go into the dune side, which is why I initially went here to start the game off. Let's see. We might be able to. If we're able to catch one of their tanks off guard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 57's about to get lit up. One shot. Two shot. Three shot. Four shot. 1,700 damage. 1,700 damage in that period of time. The dude was able to shoot me once. This, this tank is straight up an S-tier vehicle. Even with an extra second added on to its overall reload to nerf it. Oh, nice hurry. Oh my goodness. Actually, this was not a very big brain plan of mine. Um, I have nowhere to escape to. Right, this, this, this is gonna look kinda suck. Okay. Okay, he paused when he saw me. That's all that I needed. I need him to just keep sitting there. T100 is coming around as well. He fired once. Track shot? Oh, I got scammed. I got scammed. I got scammed. If I tracked him, he would have been dead there. He would have had no momentum to back up. Okay, 113's in the mid. We need to kill the 60 TP. So let's wait for the Conqueror to start pushing in. 60 TP's just fired. I'm gonna go push him with our conch right now. Okay, the M4 is pushing in as well. All right, let's see if the 60 TP shoots. The 60 TP has just fired. Stop blocking conqueror. Good, one shell. Two shot. Three shot. Nice, he gets taken out. Okay, we're clearing up our spawn very, very nicely. Enemies still have the Ho Ri and 113. Oh, the Kron's very healthy. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can get a, like an HE clip into him or something. But I think he's looking my way soon. Uh, the 113's gonna spot me up, anyways. Okay. So this Kron's gonna need to get taken out very quickly here. Hopefully, he gets distracted by our Sheridan or something. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go for the team play here. I'd love to run away from the situation, but we do know they have a 113 on A. He's probably going to pop up around one of these corners sooner or later. So, just to give my team a better chance of winning, I'll hold here for now. Let's see, there's the Kron, he wanted some B. Uh, I think it's the Hori. Or 268's getting killed on A. Come on, let's go. We've damaged them. Gotcha. Too predictable. Too predictable. <laughs> Alright, we got the wild Hori now over here. No, he got to be on fire, but we kill him. Okay. Now I gotta run away from the Kron. We good. We good. If I keep running this way, it's probably the safest route for me to take. We don't know where their T100 LT is. That's the that's the kind of primary issue we face right now. Let me get as far away from where that T100 LT could be. Okay. Well, there's not gonna be 7k, because the Kron only has 1500 or so hit points. 
Oh, if we can kill the Zero LT, that's good for me and my teammates. Okay, run away, run away. Okay, okay. Which way do you think this crowd's coming from, boys? Oh, there's a Kron. Oh, we just killed one of my allies. Okay. Does he know I'm here? How does he know I'm here? I'm not even spotted yet. Enemy armor is damaged. Dude, how does he know I was there? That's a, that's that's kind of sus. I was never even spotted there. Man, Sheridan, why'd you YOLO in? You should have gone out into the dunes and stuff. 4.4k. I put a lot of work in that game, but you know, our 113 doing one shot of damage and our Yag doing one shot. Kind of unfortunate. It was a good try, though. Uh, this tank should be so easy to get like a 7k damage game in. I just have to get the optimal farm and it's no problem. I want my 25 bucks. Hello? <laughs> All right. Oh boy, what's going on in chat? I see potential drama material, but not involving me, thankfully. <laughs> Let's reach that 400 like mark while, uh, while, while Fatness struggles, painfully struggles to try and get his 7k damage game out. It's unplayable, Castilla. Really? Maybe turn your graphics down on, uh, on your maps and that will help. I think if you have like your map graphics set super high, there's a chance that, yeah, of course the PBR map graphics will make your device lag. Try lowering it, or I think maybe there's an option to turn it off high high resolution maps. I'm sure there is somewhere in the graphics, uh, just to keep the standard resolution or whatever. Okay, no one's spotting up mid, so I'm a little scared to poke here. Okay, no one so far. Where could their team be? This is very scary. Why? Oh, man. We don't know where their whole team is, dude. This is mega scary. They could all be around this corner as far as I'm aware. Oh, my goodness. I don't have gun elevation. This sucks. Oh, my goodness, dude. No gun elevation life absolutely sucks. I just wasted my consumables on this yo as well. Wait, he didn't shoot? What on earth is that? This is not going to be a 7k, dude. Their whole team is just sitting in Narnia. Why didn't they go town with that lineup? Oh my gosh, man. I got I got screwed by my lack of gun depression elevation there. That yo should have taken like 1500 off the rear right there. But no. But no, it does not. Because you have no gun elevation in this tank. Aha, I get scammed. All right, Sheridan's in the open. That gun says nope. I don't think he spotted me, though. It's an interesting thing. He did now, though. Or the 62A did, if he didn't. <laughs> um, yeah, this is not going to be a farm game. I don't know what my teammates are doing, by the way. They all gave up our spawn control, which kind of is sad. Considering the Sheridan and 62A are back here, I don't want to make any aggro plays just yet. Sheridan hasn't rotated the owl. Enemy team are just capping the base. I've never seen a strat like this. Whack. We've damaged them. We've damaged them. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Okay, someone defended cap. Let's go. I mean, there's still damage to be farmed here, potentially. Oh my goodness. You pepega Sheridan. Tunnel be harder. <laughs> Instead of focusing on the E4 and helping your 62A out, you let your 62A die and don't even shoot the E4 once. This is, um, what do we call it? A, a hardcore case of the tunnel, of the tunnels? Okay, I can't wait for the mouse to shoot. Nice, mouse is fired. Conway should go down very quickly here as a result. Enemy armor is damaged. Enemy armor is hit. Eh, yeah, that game was not going to be farmable. That game was over so fast, man. No surprise. Their whole team just, just kind of dive-bombed into the mid or, or our spawn. I think my team still has a chance of winning this. Okay, we are not getting 7k very fast here, guys. This is very unfortunate. What are you talking about? Um, on the... <laughs> 
on the 405, did they buff the overall dispersion? I think, uh, or nerf it. Technically, I think the 45 did receive a little bit less accuracy. That was fine. I gotta go down. See ya. See ya. Sudden. I mean, uh, judgment. Can you play TVP if if you want? Sure. I just wanted to hear. I just wanted to hear the majestic beauty that is the 183's gun. Here, I'll turn the game audio up a little bit. Enjoy the experience. Enjoy it. It is good. All right. <laughs> All right, all right, yeah. We'll, we'll play a game of the TVP. If I don't get my 7K, then it just wasn't meant to be. It's okay. You gotta try all the stops and see if you can quickly pull out a 7K, you know? 183s, all those other tanks, you know, the good stuff. Okay. Issue is this type made it across. Yoink. Oh, that gun sound, though. It sounds so good. Oh, that, that type just got wrecked. Well, that's what I like to see, because I don't like types. Seeing types get wrecked makes me happy. Okay. Well, that was fun. Speaking of types... Enemy armor is hit. Type is having a really bad day, isn't he? R.I.P. to the type here, buddies. <laughs> Gang, the 183's gun sound sounds really nice, though. All right. Goodbye to this dude. Oh, my. That's a 183. Oh, you just got bombed. I think. I guess he kind of took the shell for me, didn't he? Subconsciously. All right. STB's getting a little aggro over here. STB, Yo, E4, and Hori are all over here. Interesting. The 183 is probably just back into cover. Can't blame him. E4 gets popped. Very cool. Gonna go a little bit to the right side. See if we can get a crossfinder, Yo, if he's around the corner at all. That was a bad shot. Dude, I, why is he turning in, like, sideways to the Conqueror? I thought he would be turning back from the Conqueror, but no, he was sideways to our Conqueror for some unexplainable reason, so I totally just, yeah. Since I thought he was backing up, I kind of just snapshotted that, and so it kind of missed by a few miles, but oh well, it's not the end of the world. We've damaged them. Oh, it's We've a yo. Them. What you gonna do, buddy? What you gonna do? There is nothing for you to do. Okay, I'm hungry safe for now. Oh, you're so lucky. I damaged myself more than he would damage me there. Rat. So lucky, dude. It didn't even hit anywhere near where I was aiming it on the corner of his turret there. Goodness. Oh, we do win this very easily. Yeah, yo, that was, uh, may maybe you should have, uh, not got yourself stuck there, buddy, because now you're dead. Okay. TVP it is. TVP it is. Is that a strange that I miss it? Yeah, probably is the end. I'm probably going to play a game of the TVP and then call quits from there. Did you guys actually lose? Oh, we won the 405 game. Let's go. I only did 2,700. Yeah, yeah, claim it. Okay. I hate this ranking system. It sucks. Is there a delay between shots and the sound? I guess a little bit. Okay, let me turn the audio back down so I stop destroying your ears because I promise you it doesn't quite sound so good on the 100mm uh, cannons. Free copyright music. Spamming is not help. <laughs> Yo! When did you get here, shock? Popping out of nowhere. <laughs> Where are you from? I am from planet Earth. Hello. I am what they are common refer to, commonly referred to as a homo sapien. All right. Um, M60 Leopard 140. Lots of heavies. Okay. TVP is insane, as you know. It does have a slightly longer magazine reload time nowadays, but that doesn't really change the tank all that much for a negative in a negative light. It's still the insane clipping 
monster it always was. Okay, this is a bit of a stupid aggro play, but we just might be able to pull it off. One shell to this dude. All right, one shell to this dude as well while we're at it. This dude's on reload, so open another shell to him. <laughs> we still got like 900 damage out there somehow. That was a bit of a stupid play by me, but I'll take it. Honestly, Wargaming adding a one second um, reload to this tank's overall reload did, is is not, it hardly qualifies as a nerf. I, I think that's like the smallest nerf Wargaming could have given the TVP. Okay, that Leo could be a problem. Yo, does anyone want to help, help a homie out over here? See, this M60 is getting, getting bopped. It's Leo. Might get bopped here soon. Let's put a quick shell into him. Right, this dude's distracted. One shell into him. Two shots into the side of his turret. One shot into his lower plate. Boom, a thousand damage into him just like that. Ooh, this is a fast game. Leo's kind of YOLOing. 268v414, you're all in the back of their spawn. I guess I can go and help our 1 2 1 here. Poor dude probably needs some assistance. I got you, friend. I got you. Firstly. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, you don't want the you don't want the HE treatment? I'm gonna act like I'm reloading. Just to bait him into yellowing into me sideways. Oh, HE. Come on, let's do this again. Let's do this again. Alright, now now's when I reload. Act like you have another shell, and that's when you reload. <laughs> that's how you bait that's how you big brain bait these dudes. Easy. See now he now he backed out. He's all scared. He could have just yellowed me there, probably, but Nope. Okay. No 7k again. This game was pretty fast for the initial farm. I didn't really get as much as I was hoping. Hmm. Although it still is pretty close. Oh, there's Leo. Dang it. I don't know why he's sitting down there of all places. He does kill our E100. And our 57 is pretty low HP as well. He did manage to make him a one shot though, which is good news. The V4 has done killed this dude. Sadly. All right. Let's reload our magazine now. We have double caps. The V4 is the one that has to YOLO into me. I really don't have to do much myself. Okay. Into Westing. Let's see what the V4 is up to. Aha. I found them. Whee! He <laughs> he Someone get stuck? <laughs> you get stuck, buddy? <laughs> How's your day going, brother? Go and find a dandy? Good. The V4's like, I hate my life. Before I even reload my magazine, we're gonna cap out. So that's this game over. Oof. Oof. Alright. I guess it was a GG. Why are you awake? It's only 8.30. What are you talking about? How, why am I awake? Dragon. It's not that late. Okay. 4.4k. There you go. Epic TVP action. Cool. Cool. Uh, we did win the 1A3 game, didn't we? Yes, let's go. Yo, our VK clutched up. Shout out to you. Actually clutching up there. Good job, brother. All right. Um, there we go. That's three and a half hours of streaming done. Most of it in the 50M, which was pretty actually solid. No, I did try to platoon. Thank you for asking. That. But all right. Whew. Okay. So, I'll see if I can get a stream out tomorrow. Excuse me. Um. Useless JK. Good job. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much Useless. for the donation. JK. Good Useless. job, Papa. Thank you. Okay, guys. So, good fun. E50M. Highly recommend. I I don't remember where we ended it on because I played other tanks, but it was about thirty-nine fifty. And 80% win rate for 37 or so games. Very solid indeed. Okay, dude. Who is this man? Okay. Anyways, as I was saying, I will try and see if I can platoon. Oh, it's the wrong one. It's Drone Invader. Drone Invaders. Stop it. Sorry. I will unblock the other dude. But they both had names that started with a D. Um. I will see if I can get a stream off tomorrow, and I'll try and get a few more on through throughout the week as well. Uh, 113 tomorrow. I'm not really into the 113 
all that much. Uh, it's okay, but I don't really enjoy it. I'm thinking Leopard 1. Uh, let's see. I'm going to scroll through the tier 10s. Uh, Leopard 1 is a possibility. Let's not look at the European tier 10s. Um, I don't think I've checked out the 100 yet. I might have to see the armor buff in the 100. 4202 is an option. Vickers is also an option. We've already done TVP. Uh, yeah, there's a few takes I can do. I got you, bro. Ah. I got you, bro. Great stream. <laughs> CJ, thank you so much for the donation. I'll try to get 7K next time to make up for it. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Um, so, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I'll see if I can get a stream going tomorrow. I I'm going to try my best to get one going tomorrow. Maybe a little earlier. Maybe a little later. It's usual time. We'll see. But that's it for me today. Y'all have yourself a pretty good kind of rest of your weekend hopefully i'll see you tomorrow or if not some other time during the week and i'll catch you later take care and peace